Jason Ross on Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down and talk to uh, our wonderful office manager, Cindy Jordan, and uh, get some uh, get some get some stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, just open the thing and open. It's it. locked on the closet. I oh. thought it was locked. No, right there in the printer downstairs. Where uh, in the room by the jock lounge or the performance lounge? Yeah, right? yeah. You go. You're going to the performance lounge to the right. There's a copy. They lock and... those now. No, they don't. They did. Okay, they did last time I went down there because I went down during a break. When three months ago, and the, oh, no. the I got I literally got really? a legal pad and some pens out of there. Probably I've, I've two never weeks seen ago. it locked. Well, I, I promise no, you, you're not just like pulling on it. You have to turn the handle. Yeah. Well, maybe okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's sharpies, post its, clip paper clips. I mean, this other stuff looks important. Hey, okay, a gift card. How long ago was that? From? I'll take that if you don't want to use uh, it. Listerine. Is uh, a remote. I don't know. What, I never checked this, dude. What's I, the remote for? He's got a couple of different. Uh, I have two remotes. <laughs> is this a remote? The Christ is. This? I don't. I, I, one of them is for uh, like this is a part of a selfie stick that I got for something which I've never used, and one of these like Bluetooth to your phone, so you can uh, you can take uh, you know selfies more about videos and stuff maybe this is the the one uh, uh apparently i have a bunch more the fresh breath is very important yeah here. uh cough drops morning everybody uh usb to lightning connectors uh a usb to you have uh, a lot of digital stuff that you I have a use. walking best buy yeah um but no pens I think this. Oh, this is a USB hub where you can like plug five USB things into a thing. More. I've never used those yet. There they are. Oh, here we go. An Amazon Fire Stick. That's what goes with this remote. Perfect for it's, your bag. It's for when I travel. Yeah. Oh, I know what this is. This is a top of a portable toothbrush. I already use a toothbrush. Um, it's a plane ticket. Plane ticket. White glow. Uh, whitening toothpaste. Oh, as you know. Uh, a USB to tiny USB connector. Yeah. This is interesting radio, by the way. I get it. But I have not taken stock of this in a while. Yeah, there's a plane ticket, Jason. Okay. Uh, an open thing of playing cards. Unopened. Um, they cover for a, uh, a, a phone charger, which I don't have a phone charger. So that's that. And no then, pens. I'll get you pens in the next break. Son of a. Ooh. One more spot here. No chance. You don't think so? Nope. Let's see. Last pocket. Uh, a candy. A $5 bill. Wow. Some gum. A plane ticket. Plane ticket. Plane ticket. A plane ticket. A plane ticket. A... You making a collage or something? Plane ticket. Boarding pass. Plane and ticket. a plane ticket. So apparently that's that. And yeah, that uh, is... Oh, oh, oh and gum. Yeah, dude. No pens. Sorry. Okay. 
at the Yorkshire to English Dictionary, <laughs> where, for example, there are what's things, on the front? Uh, that is uh, that's Yorkshire pudding. Doesn't look like pudding to me, pal. No. Um, a lot of this is the same. Scallions mean spring onions. A scullery is a is a kitchen. Hey, thank you. And 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 yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. Those are Sacktown Sports. They fans. are. Thank you, Chris, for a lot. And I'm gonna put these in a spot in my thing there in my backpack. Uh, Jason, what do you think? Um, what do you think? And everyone, play along at home. Uh. What do you, if I'm bottled? What does that mean? Confused. Confused, Chris. You're kind of honorary British. I'm boggled. What does that mean? Uh, bothered by something. You guys are close. Uh, frightened. If you're boggled, you're frightened. Um, let's see. What's a bumble kite? Whoa. Um, it's a bumblebee. It's kind of dumb, but that's what they call it, I guess. Uh, oh, I, you know what? Uh, what is it if somebody is, uh, somebody caffles at something? Laughs. Laughing. Laughing. Caffle to hesitate. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, they're, you know, bless you and bless you again. Uh, by the way. Wasn't caffles our afternoon host? Yes, Nick Caffles. <laughs> I talked to Caffles yesterday. Hey, you guys always did have a close relationship. How is he? Uh, good. Doing a podcast. I think he's got a Patreon now. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sorry. Isn't that alcohol? Let me. <laughs> yes, it's a tequila. Let me be clear. When I just chuckled there, I wasn't chuckling like, oh, he's got. I, it, I was chuckling because when you say when somebody says this is, I'm just gonna take you into my brain. When somebody says Patreon, I immediately think OnlyFans, even though there's many people that have Patreons that have nothing to do with OnlyFans. So what happened is Chris said. Uh, our old friend Nick has a Patreon. And you're I, thinking he was taking beat picks. And I'm like, and then I had this thought in my head of Nick having an OnlyFans, and then that made me chuckle. Like, you know. Yeah, makes sense. Which, you know, for all we know, Nick has great feet. For all we know. I can tell you, I will tell you this much. I don't know that he has bad feet. I don't either. And here's something you guys will get. I will tell you this. There is something Nick could do if he had an OnlyFans that I would subscribe to 100%. Take your socks off. Oh, I'm the only person that's seen it. You've seen him take his socks off? Uh, the, the, you've seen him, the thing I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Did we ever get a report on that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Do you, did we, Jason? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. okay. right. uh, also, this morning, uh, I'm, I'm in an extra good mood because uh, uh got up, uh, worked out. Uh, took that that plunge we talked about, did a couple of laps. It was cold as heck, uh, and had a good breakfast. Rolled nice. in. Yeah. You did all of that. You no, accomplished a lot. I, I, oh. I do that. <laughs> but I wanted to. Yeah. What you did accomplish was cleaning out your backpack, but putting it all right back in. Cleaning out my backpack before 6 a.m. Yeah. Uh, before 7 a.m. I'm not putting it all back in. You just threw away the tickets. That's all. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, what am I going to do? You want to throw away the, 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 I can't throw away the Toms. No. Yeah. Uh, I've got Tom's hand sanitizer, very important to carry. Uh, wait a minute. I just realized something. Is this a Merce? Yeah. Even though I call it a backpack, this is 100% a Merce, isn't it? Yeah. There is no difference. I just had this thought. Oh, my God. There is no difference between what I'm doing right now and what my mom used to do like twice a year when she'd dump out her purse. And it was just like this glorious collection of mints and wallet and paperwork and old check if she only had stuff that was digital back then it'd probably be very similar to what we just saw i have no idea what my mom did or didn't have that was digital but <laughs> uh yeah i'm i'm merce cleaning right now yeah. dude you and just have two straps that's the difference yeah backpack, yeah right? i think that's a guy yeah we're like, oh it's my it's my it's my backpack <laughs> although i do recommend everybody if you ever travel anywhere um Throw out the toothpaste. That's whitener. Uh, um, anybody who ever travels, if you do happen to have an extra <clears throat> uh, fire stick, what a that thing has saved my, you know what, more than a few times. I'm on the road and oh my god, Kings game, 
And yeah, I could watch it on the phone or something, but there's something about being able to hijack the uh, hotel, uh, the hotel TV and just watch things live yeah. and, on a big screen. So uh, how and are now you? Now you have a pen. And now I have a pen. What Thank was, you, uh, what do you need the pen for? All that. Uh, I like to, what I like to do is when we get through segments, I like to check them off. We haven't done that segment yet. Well, I, I'm, I'm, you know, maybe a little over superstitious, but I think I'll be able to check that segment off in about two minutes. Okay. Uh, good win last night. You were at the game. I was. I decided to go last night. Yeah. It was fun. It was nice. Yeah. Uh, you got to work next to Gary Gerald. The legend. That was awesome. Yes. That never gets old, does it? Never does. Uh, what was the media meal yesterday? Uh, oh, mm. uh, uh, salad bar, rice, carrots and peas. Oh, come on. Wasn't uh, yesterday the big? I oh, saw, my gosh. You're just lame. Uh, I saw the, uh, uh, the commissioner and the governor and Vivek. Uh, on top of Golden One, saying Happy Holy, was there? Mm-hmm. There weren't any holy. I don't know what they would yes. be, but holy themed foods. So my timing was: I believe there was a chicken. The chicken was prepared a certain way. Uh-huh. Uh, when I got the hair through my part of the line, the chicken was the thing was empty. It was gone. Yeah, yeah. So I had rice. Was it gone or not there? Uh, no, it was just the sauce. The chicken was missing. Okay. It had been taken. <laughs> Someone took the chicken. It's a pig. There's a bunch of papers around gold ones and missing chicken. Yes. Uh, so I you yeah. know, I could have waited a little bit Don't longer this chicken. to uh to get the replacements coming in, the replacement chickens. Yes. But uh I just went and ate. Uh and some popcorn. It's always good. Yeah. Hey, here's a question. You we're all uh I think we're all fans of Indian food, right? Or at least have enjoyed it. Yes. Um could you make like a Indian spice popcorn, and would it be good? Like I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, what if you threw like curry powder, salt, uh, maybe a little bit of spice in there into a bag of popcorn with some binder, like maybe a little butter, shook it up. I've never tried that. I, would, kind of I don't know why that wouldn't work. I don't yeah. either. I feel like that would be really good. Like the kind of sweetness of the curry in there. Yeah, I'm just depending like it. You'd have to be careful, like the curry not overpower, but you Seriously. do the right amount. I think yeah. you, I think that's ha- possible. That is an incredibly overpowering spice. Yeah, that's a common misconception. I used to think that like a chicken curry was just like chicken with some curry, <laughs> but curry is like a, a dish. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I am not an expert in this whatsoever. That's just a mistake I made once upon a time. Uh, as a matter of fact, my uh, one of my best friends, you may remember, uh, uh, former mayoral chief of staff, Kunal Merchant, very yes. very instrumental in uh, saving the team here. Never gets enough credit. Uh, he is getting married over the. Oh, actually, I see this. You're going to another wedding, Ch- Jason. You're not going to believe this. I am going to a wedding in two weeks. I think two weeks. A week. I think it's two weeks. I'm going to see our friend Andrew Rogers. Mm-hmm. He is. Uh, he and his lovely fiance Lexi are getting married in a couple of weeks. I'm going to that, and then Canal uh, next New Year's. Uh, you know, period, uh-huh. whatever. I think it's I think it's the thirtieth to thirty first, I think, uh, is getting married. Uh it, they're getting married in Barbados. Wow. I think I'm going to go to a How death- about that? These are breaking all my rules. Yeah. I think I'm going I'm to attempting a- to dazzle Dave. And let me tell you, uh where's Andrew's wedding? In town or yeah, it's in town. Okay. Yeah, it's in town. Very nice place okay. uh in town. So no commute. No, I mean, no commute there. No, no. Excited for that. Uh, very nice. Uh, very nice invitations. That one. I, I've never seen an invitation that it was like a gold plaque in a instead of like a uh, like a Hallmark card style. It came in an envelope like that. But you, it's very heavy. You open it up and it's like this this pl- engraved plaque. Oh, please join the wedding. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, I got married on a dock. <laughs> Seventeen years this July. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to a, a destination. A, First nice. ever destination. It is not easy to get there, number one. Right. Number two, he was smart about it because it's like, yeah, there's a wedding, but also Barbados over over, over the New Year's yeah. break. But, yeah, it's like this the, coming year? Uh, like the end of 2024? The, the, yeah, the end of 2024. And we'll see. That's the exact right. That is the <laughs> no plane tickets have been bought. Uh, months. No, no, not exactly. Uh, 
what else? I know we got a break. Nah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay. That covers a lot. Oh, Pat's gone today, so Tom has the door shut over there. Whenever Pat's gone, Tom Maley's running the board, and he gets all, ooh, I can't be bothered. No, okay, no. Okay, weirdo. Yeah. Party of one. 100% weirdo. And, oh, by the way, I don't want to mention this during the show because uh, I'll mention it going into a break so we can reset. But, God, if you guys have not seen the video of the bridge in Baltimore, oh, my God, that is so terrible. That is, look, loss of life is terrible no matter what. Don't get me wrong. I think that's right up there with a lot of people's worst nightmares. I know they had sonar uh, that detected some cars uh, in the water. Um, <clears throat> thank I mean, if, and there's no bright side, but thank God it was in the middle of the night and not at some sort of rush hour. Um, I know they've, I, last I checked, they've recovered, I think at least uh, saved, alive, seven people, I think was the last count from there. So if you're just waking up and you're, you're, you're seeing the, if you're easily triggered by things that freak you out, don't watch the video, but basically a ship runs into the bridge, the bridge collapses. And honest to God, when I first saw it at about 3.30 this morning, I, I had to Google it because I, I thought it was AI. It looked mm -hmm. like it was a scene out of a movie. Yeah, it so, doesn't look real. No, it doesn't. So that's scary as hell. And, and thoughts with everybody uh, involved with that. We'll take a break. When we come back, the Kings break another losing streak. Uh, show how Tony speaks. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. He speaks and then, okay. And, uh, hey, there's a betting scandal in sports. Yeah, Otani. Nope. Another betting scandal in sports, but this will probably be the last one we'll talk about. And by the way, did you find a highlight for it? You did? God bless Chris for a lot. We'll be right back after this. The NFL's leading rusher plays here. The handoff to McCaffrey walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey takes it right down to the goal line. He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10, 5, touchdown! C M C. You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns on your home for 49ers football. Sacktown Sports. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Let's do it. Leading off the three top stories in the morning. Huge news. This is very important. Here's cut number one. The Kings have just earned their 10th winning season in Sacramento. And in the process, they put an end to a 10-game losing streak to the Philadelphia 76ers. Sacramento winning for the first time in almost six years against the Sixers and able to do it on the home floor to improve their record now to 42 and 29. Credit where credit where credit is due, Jason. Following the pattern, we talked about it at length yesterday. I was very worried about the game. Um, my, my, you know, Quick preview, my three in the key random stat was that they'd win, uh -huh. but I also, to be fair, uh, pulling receipts here, I said I think they're going to lose following the pattern of them being six and six and a handful of their worst losses of the year coming uh, six and six on the uh, first games back from a road trip. Right. Uh, and some of those losses like Detroit, uh, like Charlotte at home being terrible. Here's a, a Philly team coming in who was 10-0 and 0, uh, in their last 10 against the Kings, half of with, which without uh, Joel Embiid. Uh, everything pointed to one of those, uh, you know, Kings build a lead, Sixers have a huge third quarter uh, in the end, Sixers win, and the Kings came out and did it with defense. Uh, again. Again, and we got more on that a little bit later. This is becoming uh, not a, not a, uh, this is becoming a, a trend. 
I should say, uh, in, instead of a flash. And uh, they broke a 15-game streak against the Bucks earlier, a couple weeks ago. Now they break a, uh, break a 10-game streak against the Sixers. And unfortunately, what is this, the 7th and 9 or 7th and 10 games in 10 days tonight? It's something yeah, goofy well, like that. Yeah, they used to say, there were, I think a few years ago they had it happen a little more. This will be the 5th and 7 games tonight, oof, or 7 days, excuse yeah. me. Um, and this is the only time it happens all season. And the only reason is because tonight's on TNT. You guys wanted more uh, national coverage. This game really, to me, should be tomorrow. Dallas is yeah, off. Yeah, I totally agree. They don't. They're going to stay here all week till Friday. But anyway, that's fine. Kings get some exposure now. Let's hope they can do it. It sets up a huge night tonight. But last night was great. Last night reminded me a little bit of the Toronto game in which they were heavy favorites. They beat Toronto, not in the same capacity. This is a good team they played. But they got the lead, and, and really it was kind of stress-free. Believe it or not, it really was. But to your point, like people were waiting. Like, anybody feel comfortable? Where's the run? It never, it never no. really pushed. As a matter of fact, uh, they have a graph out that shows win probability, and it kind of goes lines go up and down, up and down. And Sacramento's on the bottom, uh, Sixers are on the top. So if you have like a ten point lead, it's a big line down, and they'll go up and up. You look at the graph; it is all all purple lines mm-hmm. going down, and. And a little, yes. little, little, little tiny red line. Uh, what? Somewhere in the first. They I had think? a one point lead. Yes, yeah, exactly. So it was almost a clean sweep. Uh, and uh, they figured out Tyrese Maxey, thank God, because he was on his way to matching Kobe's 81. Yeah. My goodness. And uh, I, I think I think Maxey had 20 at the half. twenty Or 21 in the first quarter. 21, excuse me. 21 in the first quarter, scored eight the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Keegan had 17 in the first quarter. I believe he scored five the yeah. rest of the game. Um, but, you know, defenses will adjust. They did, and there you go. Well, that actually made, I would say in a weird way, made me feel good. I said, look, Tyrese Maxey tonight is their best player for sure. Keegan Murray is not the Kings' best player. He's a good player. He's an important player. And when he's going off, I'm like, well, they still haven't even really utilized Fox or Sabonis or Monk. This actually probably is good for the Kings. At some point, Tyrese says to sit. Yes. He did. Kings extended the lead, and then they obviously did a much better job on him the rest of the game. So, really nice win. Very, very nice win. Yeah. It's all smiles today. Yes, it is. Unless you're uh, an L.A. Dodger baseball player. Who, or a fan. Yeah, a fan. <laughs> uh, cut number two, please. Cut number two. Oh, that's me. So, I never bet on baseball or any other sports, or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. Uh, and I have never uh, went through a bookmaker uh, to bet on sports. Um, just to kind of just go over the result. Uh, in conclusion, uh, Ipe has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. Mm. I want everything that that translator. Well, how does that work? Is it that that trans? What, what is the proper thing to do here? I, honestly, I, and this isn't a like politically correct thing. Is it? I want everything that translator said to be true, or is it? I want everything Shohei Otani said to be true. Shohei. I know it's I both. Both, yeah. both? Yeah. either's okay, right? Because obviously Shohei said it, but then the interpreter said it last. I don't know who to give right. credit to. Let's give credit to both. Because um, it seems like everybody's done that comedy skit before, where the interpreter or the person says something like. 35 words long and then the interpreter goes yes for real like, okay that always fascinates me yeah. someone will and of all the interpretations like for example i grew up and probably the 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 most i saw with interpreters would be spanish because it was boxing so you'd be like you'd have the the post fight and whatever whoever the the spanish mexican boxer would be up there speaking spanish have an interpreter and it was like Boxer speaking Spanish would say something for like two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. And then his interpreter would be like, I'm really happy to be here. I thought it was a great win. I look forward to the next rematch. Yeah. What? You just spoke for an hour, dude. Right. And so you always wonder, like, are they are they paraphrasing? Yeah. Uh, In this case, obviously, the important stuff got out. Uh, By the way, new interpreter. Yes. That would have been really awkward. Yeah. Oh my God! What was this? Thing? He just held on to him, but he had to interpret all the stuff about him being a liar. Then you would question whether or not that was real. Absolutely, yeah. and oh my God, would that be incredibly weirdly entertaining? No, uh, I hope everything Otani via his interpreter is saying is true. It just—I can't get past the whole. 
Otani didn't know, and they were joking around in the ninth inning, and then the interpreter addressed the club, and then he addressed ESPN, but then everything he said to ESPN was a lie, according to Otani's people. And then how did the interpreter have access to Otani's bank accounts? Somebody said yesterday the only people that have access to an athlete's bank accounts, for example, outside of, you know, wife, kids, whatever, is um, not kids is a financial advisor and uh, agents, which I don't even know if that's true, but Mm -hmm. they're just, this isn't going to be one of those things where I'm not one of those people that's like, like MC, for example, MC Uh probably thinks it's like deep baseball and the CIA is involved in all that. I'm not going to sit there every time Otani's up and be like, but it does leave that question of, it just seems like there's a little bit here that's off. Right. And I, 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 I there's been a lot of stories already. Right. So that's the thing. Like, which one's real? What's true? What's going on? Well, it's Major League Baseball's best interest for this thing to be done. At the same time, you know, I'm just waiting. You know, honestly, when I'll know where it, where it's going is when I see the Mark Finaru Wada yeah. uh, <laughs> think piece. extended yeah. think piece article on uh, ESPN where they do this deep dive for three months. And yeah. Either way, uh, the the worm keeps turning, whatever you want to call it. But he did speak yesterday. And uh, and also, unfortunate pictures will be happening all year. The first one happened that I saw yesterday. Anytime Shohei and Mookie are, in the, uh, are, are on, on the field together, so we'll take a picture, and it says Otani bets. And just, yeah, it's, it's going to happen. It's a pretty good combo. Yeah. There. All right, real quick, cut number three, please. Cut number three. Sources telling ESPN that Raptors forward Jonte Porter is being investigated by the NBA for multiple instances of betting irregularities over the past several months. At issue are prop bets involving Porter from games on January 26th and March 20th. Now, NBA players and all league employees are prohibited from betting on any league events, including prop bets. Porter's played in 26 games for Toronto with five starts this season. Mm. We're going to get into this. John Tay Porter is being accused. This is a G League two-way guy. Uh, is being accused of, I don't know if you want to call it tanking, um, but he, he of, of helping people achieve certain prop bets with his play or more of the point, lack of play. There are specific examples tied to this stuff. For these alarm bells to go off, there has to be smoke where there's fire. I think this one is way beyond the whole Otani thing when it comes to presumption of guilt. If this dude's not guilty, I would be abs- I would be shocked right. beyond my mind when right. you look at the connections uh, and, quite frankly, statistics that go with this. And this is obviously a far bigger deal. And as a matter of fact, I have a real fun example that's going to trigger a lot of people coming up here later on in the program. <sighs> Get ready for that one. Um, but it's here. It's here to stay. And now the investigation of Jonte Porter brought to you by FanDuel will begin <laughs> immediately. We'll yes. take a break. <laughs> when we come back, Kings win, Kings win, Kings win, Kings win. We have audio for you. Coming up next. The only place you'll find Keegan Murray is Sacktown Sports. Out to Keegan Murray, straight away for three, and Keegan knocks down the triple. Hey, Sacramento, it's Keegan Murray, and you're listening to the home of Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family-owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us, and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda, yeah, your one-stop Honda shop. Country in the Park is back, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. With Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. 
He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Grove Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, Elk Grove Kia and Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. Elk Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. Hey guys, do you know your T-Level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T-level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. In this market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Different how? Aren't we all just looking for the hottest stocks? Nope. We use diversified strategies to position our clients' portfolios for their long-term goals. You don't just provide cookie-cutter portfolios? No, we tailor our clients' portfolios to their goals and needs. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions for you, right? No, we don't sell commission-based products. We're a fiduciary, the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. It means we're obligated to act in our client's best interest. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? Yep, we have one transparent management fee structured, so we do better when our clients do better. Sounds like you really look out for your clients. We do, because our priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. That might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly, different money management. Investments and in securities involve the risk of loss. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. Kyle Lowry now near the midcourt line. Throws a cross court to Buddy Heal. Creeping forward. Now drives it on Duarte. Sealed off. Has to give it up. Run toward the rim. Ball stripped out of the hands of K.J. Martin. It's grabbed by the Kings. Malik Monk. Davion Mitchell on the run, and then the King, and King goes to the rim, rejected at the rim, grabbed by Sabonis, and he puts it back up and in. Sabonis doing his thing that time after a rejected shot. It's now 69-53. Here's a pass broken up by the Kings in traffic. 
Great defensive play by Keegan Murray. Sabonis has it. Comes up the floor. Drives inside. Bounce pass to a cutting Duarte. There's a beautiful cut to the rack and a score. And that will result in a timeout being called by Philadelphia. Smart. Sabonis tapping his chest. He's being acknowledged here by his teammates because he has the double-double that is the first time extending a streak now to 54 consecutive games. Mm. Best chant by far. Yeah, I was last night say. Was, was great. Multiple times. Sounded like that through the TV, but you never know if yeah. like the mics are just happen to be around people. But there was also, I think they did a zoom in on a guy that yeah. you could read his lips. You read his lips. Yeah. I told you, I always look and I go, wow, there's a lot more people that I see that are saying I could lip read saying Demontis. Yeah, lips. I feel like I can't. God, I hope that thing just. I, I just. The, it's the, happening. The coup de gras is going to be in the playoffs. He does something, whole place is chanting, and one of the national announcers points out that, uh, you know, Sacramento best yeah. fans in the NBA, blah, 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 blah. That's you, awesome. You know what they did last night, and I don't remember this happening before, hmm. and it happened to be when he had a, such a great night, too, was Davion. Yeah. So you know the song Flashlight? No. George Clinton. Uh, let me see. Flashlight. Flashlight. Chris, do you, yeah, I'm sure Chris could cue it anyway, up. Anyway, pull it up. Go ahead. The, yeah. what, what they, they, they played it for him? Yes, every time he scored, which was a lot. And then I think someone, I could have sworn they cut it and it said, off night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Parliament. Yeah, or Parliament. Yeah. Off night. Ah. Well, you combine that, you do the We Want the Funk for Monk. Yeah. Got a Sabonis chant. They got Foxy Lady for yeah. Fox. Keegan. Keegan Murray. Had a lot of those last night. Cool. Yes. For Harrison Barnes. Everybody's got That's a, a thing. good time out. Everybody's got a thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we should. You could play Be Still My Sunshine. We talked about for Alex Len. Because Len sang that. Remember? Yeah. Oh. Len gets a block. Be still my sunshine. No. Nope. All right. Anyways, speaking of De'Aaron Fox. Flip back outside to Payne. Misses at the dotted line. Rebounded by Sacramento. Fox on the move. Three defenders in front of him. Doesn't make a lick of difference. De'Aaron Fox twists his way to the low right side and scores on the reverse. 17 for Fox. Kings lead 85-68. It, it was pretty much a wire-to-wire -wire win. Yeah. If there's a negative, it's just kind of boring. Like, can we get closer? <laughs> uh, game? I'm joking. I would say, no I'm like, what's the negative? Yeah. Uh, well, the negatives uh, were. Um, well, I know one. Demontis Sabonis getting yeah, clubbed everywhere in the face, and the shoulder got hurt. It's like, come on now, Demont. I'm waiting for Domas to have one of those. We need Domas to bust out with a boogie moment. Yeah, and just. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting, it, it, it's getting ridiculous, man. Yeah, and it almost looked like to me at times in the first half, I think Philly had the impression that he was faking that. Like some guys were looking like, oh, there he goes again. Because he was on the ground a lot and holding his face. And, you know, if, if you don't see the hit, you're going, really? This guy's on the ground again? But he got hit every time. It just, that guy looks like a boxer. Yeah, then he didn't want to come out. He's like, really? You're going to make me stop the game because yeah. I'm bleeding on a foul you did not call. And he was fired oh, up. He was, he was, I mean, yeah. he was yell, not yelling at, but yelling to some of the assistants mm -hmm. on the bench. And like, poor trainers, they're trying to fix him up, and he's just turning his head and just yelling yeah. some more. He was fired. Yeah, we need something like this. Oh, yeah. I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here because it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. But did it come out of your mouth accidentally? Is that what happened? Yes, man. This, this is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Demarcus, their game plan obviously tonight was to be physical with you and get your head. You definitely held your composure throughout the game. How important was that for you guys to be able to pull out this win? That was light, man. I know, I know what their game plan is every night. They're hyping up their big man over there. You know what never gets talked about with that too, because obviously that's just cla classic to Marcus. Um, you know, when we have Katie on tomorrow, I hope I remember to ask her about this because it's it's random. 
I, I always I always told Katie, I said, honestly, in your broadcasting career, that may that might be my favorite thing you've ever done. Like any of us standing out there with seven foot tall, very mercurial DeMarcus Cousins in that situation. Like, for example, if it was me, I knew DeMarcus a little bit. Yeah. We got along towards the end. If I'm out there, I don't care how much we got along. As soon as he does the one thing, okay, thank you. Yeah. You know, I'll see ya. I'll be like back to you. And what you couldn't see on the camera is that Katie had a, her arm, I think she'll she'll tell this i think she had her arm or her hand on his arm i was kind of trying to keep him in the shot because he was getting very demonstrative and then she that she followed up two or three times on that and it and really ended up getting a lot out of this emotional player who was ready to go off yeah. and probably the most amazing thing about that interaction no swearing yeah no swearing but what you're telling me is foul on katie not not called. Uh, it was not called. Yeah. You know they because they allowed the hand check back then. Oh, that gosh. was the it's thing. getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous out here. Shout out to Marcus. Shout out the Kings for an almost wire to wire victory. Uh, and here. they just earned their tenth winning season in Sacramento, and in the process, they put an end to a ten game losing streak to the Philadelphia 76ers. Sacramento winning for the first time in almost six years against the Sixers and able to do it on the home floor to improve their record now to 42 and 29. Mm. There we go. Season best, 13 games above 500. Mike Brown has never coached the Kings and not had them above 500. Correct. Not once. At the end of the year. You At mean. the end of the year. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the year. Because Owen, he started 0-4 in his career. You know the question I'd love to ask? which will never get answered as we go to break here. Was there even a mention amongst ownership, front office, whatever, when Mike Brown took over and they started 0-4? Did we get this wrong? Did we? Who's our back? Is the contract signed? How good is Jordy Fernandez? Yeah. And is he ready? Right. 0-4. Well, they, they, they made up for it. They did. And uh, yeah. they made up for a lot of things. What a, what a very, very, very important week, most important week of the season for the Sacramento Kings coming up, and uh, they passed their first test. We have a lot, a lot, a lot more on that uh, coming up today. In the meantime, we will take a break. When we get back, uh, we'll go around the uh, the world of sports here, and, and the theme is betting, folks. Otani speaks, uh, and uh, we'll get into the details of these Jonte Porter allegations uh, in the NBA as well. Coming up at 7 a.m., baseball is opening Thursday. We have, Didn't I don't want to. open last week? Huh? I thought it opened oh, last no, week. Oh, no, the Korea, no, those were, um because of the Practice time games. difference, they played, oh. but they don't count until the time difference is, is until Thursday. They don't when get they to the papers here. Exactly. Yeah, well, got you know, it. you got to get on the boat and the whole yeah. thing. It's a long trip. Makes sense. Uh, we're going to, we don't, I don't know if we have an, if you want to call it an update on the A's, but if you're interested in this A's, Sacramento, Salt Lake, Vegas saga, I think we at least have some breadcrumbs to throw out at you. You'll want to stay tuned or tune back in at 7 a.m. What am I talking about? Keep it on all day long, especially until 10 a.m., but even after that for the fastest-growing show uh, in all of radio, Styles and Watkins. When we get back, betting on sports. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type, GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year. All stars and all NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox. The breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Hey, 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 Dirty Heads. Live in concert. Every, every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m. The venue in Thunder Valley. Say I'm crazy, but I have a special guest. The Elevators. Good to me so far. 
On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss live. Rescue me. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So, the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends 4 6. Visit staples.com slash print for details. At Progressive, we know money can't buy happiness. But money did buy your boat, where you find peace fishing, unlike at home with three teenage daughters. Because fish never argue about who stole whose crop top or get mad the other fish used up all the hot water. No, they just swim around, never embarrassed to be seen with you in public. So save money by bundling your boat or RV insurance with home or auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American made favorites, like America's best selling F Series, F 150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom lake ford right here in sacramento you can buy any new ford with zero down on approved credit save big with low interest finance rates and Folsom lake ford always pays top dollar for your trade check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals looking for something special give them a call and tell them doug christie sent you they'll help you out hurry to Folsom lake ford in the Folsom auto mall your trusted dealer my trusted dealer for over 35 35- The live cuts, the flashlight song, and the DMC interview have sounded horrible, like they're being played through a can. To be fair, one was played through my phone, and then the other one I think somebody recorded off the TV. So I thought they sounded great. They sounded a lot like the uh, Kings broadcast on TV to start last night, the uh, the pregame show. You know, they'd be talking, everything was great, but every 10 seconds. Oh, interesting. Just, just, and that wasn't, I'm not saying like somebody was talking to Lugie. I'm saying yeah. that that sound and then a ton of complaints in the first quarter quarter and a half of people um radio was clear radio was extra clear and uh shout out to our guy ryan emmy award-winning ryan is it ryan or ryan it's ryan oh. uh the, the y is silent um who got me on uh facebook instant messenger um do you hear the audio weirdness on youtube tv is it the same on regular tv i wonder They've double bust somehow, and it makes it comb, filter, and thin tinny on their voices. Commercials sound fine. The game was wigging out, but the commercials sound okay. I'll try. I'll try switching it off and report back. Just tried all of that. Still sounds double bust. Can definitely hear it. It's like they have two sources of the. You get the point. Anyways, like Ryan, it should just go work as an engineer for them too. I, yeah. I he works for Skywalker Sound. Yeah. New. He but worked at this game on. recently, uh, maybe a week or two ago. And I never know what to do in that situation. I was like, I texted a guy, which yeah. I did. I'm like, hey, and it's like, I'm always afraid to do that because, you know, when st- it's like one of our board guys here, like Chris, for example. Chris is behind, the, behind the, the glass and uh, on the weekend or something, the station goes out and he's like dealing with an emergency yeah. and 19 people are texting. Well, hey, we're off the air. We're yeah. off the air. <laughs> and it's like you want to send the text. But you also understand there's a really good chance 90 other people have. So I'll do something like, dude, you probably already know this, but yeah. just in case. Like Chris could be indisposed. Right. one 800 920 is your phone number. Joe. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, man. So uh, going on to Tani, you were talking about that, I believe. Uh, earlier we yeah. were talking about Otani, uh, his statement yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, so my question is, like, you're a smart guy. In all of your respects, what do you think, like, truly? 
what do I, what do I think if you if you're putting a gun to my head and I had to guess what the truth was? Um, my guess, underlined guess, all caps guess, total speculation, instinct, and nothing more. Um, I would say I believe ninety percent of what Otani's saying. I I well, I, that's, that's I I think also he, what I want to, if I may, if yeah. I bet in. Uh, watching him yesterday, this is a man who's like the face of the MLB baseball, and you watched him, like you saw him struggle. He hated doing everything he did. Now, as a, I'm a Dodgers fan, uh, I can totally get it. He's sticking up, but that was a human aspect. That was pretty cool. I, I think ultimately, he, um, I think I think part of him is covering for his friend. I don't, I don't profess to be an expert in Japanese culture. Um, but the little things I do understand or have experienced, um, there is a, a very, and, and by the way, never make the mistake of having one representative of any group speak for everyone, but there is a big emphasis on honor, uh, a big emphasis on loyalty. Um, it would really surprise me if Otani was not aware that his best friend and <clears throat> really somebody he's around probably more than his wife uh, was making bets or in trouble or whatever. And I think he's trying, he tried his best to cover that wasn't going to work. And now it's in the hands of the lawyers and the handlers. And to be honest with you, if I had to guess, uh, I, I, I think Shohei Otani is probably guilty <laughs> of, and I know this isn't a popular take, He's probably guilty of trying to be a good guy, and now he is in the middle of the whole thing. And yeah, because yeah. this could ruin like so much of baseball's face. Well, and, and not just base. I don't, you know. And if I'm being his honest, career. I don't care about baseball. I care about. I, I'm more concerned with his career and his, his. And and what did somebody say yesterday? I thought it was such a great line. Uh, the thing about allegations is this: even if it doesn't stick, it smears. And I, I thought that was just such a sure. wonderful line. And I think with this one, you know, not to compare betting with something, uh, you know, really terrible. But, you know, we've seen this before. If somebody is accused, uh, uh, who was the punter that was accused of uh, sexual oh, assault yeah. released? And then later, Trevor Bauer. Yeah, no, not Trevor no, Bauer. It was a punter uh, for the Bills. And he was later exonerated. Blah, oh, blah, blah. that kid, they, uh, I forget his name. Yeah. I know you're talking about. We all, yeah. So, for example, assuming the guy was 100% innocent. He got like drafted, and all of a sudden, damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and thank you for the call, dude. Um, that's always going to stick with him. Right. Even even if he's right. 100, that, even if the person came out and was like, I actually have video of that night, and we were playing cribbage, yeah. and here's the video, and nothing else. Either, yeah. oh, was she paid off and forced to say that? And look. Why? Well, yeah. in some cases, because that's actually happened before. People have a reason to be right. suspicious. Uh, and then the other thing, I mean, you're following what, the, what what's going on with Diddy right now mm -hmm. and all that crazy drama. I have no idea what the hell to think, but I'm I'm conditioned to go, uh, yeah, he, he did something here, and it's going to be interesting to see what happened. Obviously, a far, far less important thing when you're talking about betting and betting in sports. Sure. That kind of gets us into the Otani thing. Um, I, I don't know how much you saw of his comments, Jason. I but did see them that's that's the instinct i'm choosing to go with and i could be totally wrong i'm landing on this isn't as crazy nefarious as many would think there's probably more to it but i feel like the more to it i don't think Shohei otani was like captain of a gambling ring and betting on the dodgers i guess is what i'm trying to say i feel like this is a lot of him trying to cover for his dude yeah i i'm really honestly kind of fascinated by the whole thing one um to get into that much debt i mean we're talking about a terrible gambler mm -hmm. terrible gambler. horrible gambler um and then are there more layers is it covering for is it not covering for is it 100 percent innocent with one bad guy i i don't know i four, don't know four and a half million but then again are we stuck on the four and a half million thing the guy just signed a 700 million dollar deal Oh, I, it's not well. The four and a half million is a really large amount. Yes, of money of losing any kind of money. I would like four and a half million. Yeah, I would not gamble it. Right, nah, promise. Uh, John Tay Porter speaking of gambling. Toronto Raptors forward under investigation by the NBA following multiple instances of betting irregularities over the past several months. Uh, at issue a couple of prop bets: January twenty sixth and March twentieth, and a game on the twenty sixth against the Clippers. 
there is increased betting interest that set off alarms on the under for Porter props. If you know what a prop, if you if you want to know what a prop is, it's like uh, this player will score over or under this amount of points. This player will have X amount of three pointers, whatever it may be. The odds that night were set for Porter at around five and a half points, four and a half boards, one and a half assists. There was also an over under for Porter's made three pointers, which was at one half. In other words, you if he hits one three one three pointer, you bet the over, you win. That evening, Porter played just four minutes before leaving the game because of what the Raptors said was an aggravation of an eye injury he had suffered four days earlier against the Grizzlies. He did not score. He did have three bound, uh, three rebounds and one assist, and he did not attempt a three, meaning the under hit on all the props. The next day, as part of a daily report to users on betting results, DraftKings stated that the under on Porter's three-pointers, which was set at one half, was the biggest money winner for betters of any NBA player props from games that evening. March 20th, we'll break here in a second, against the Sacramento Kings. Porter played just three minutes before exiting because of what Toronto said was an illness and did not return. He did not score after attempting one shot, and he had two rebounds. Sportsbooks had his over-under set around seven and a half points and five and a half boards. The next day, DraftKings reported in a media release that Porter's prop bets were, again, the number one moneymaker from that night in the NBA. By the way, Jonte Porter is the brother of Nugget star Michael Porter Jr. He's on a two-way deal with the Raptors, earning 415 thousand dollars more on this a little bit Mm -hmm. when we get back because we need to we need to provide some context there uh and also uh the giants and a's played last night we're getting ready for the uh, start of the season and has there been any sort of movements on the a's to uh sacramento or elsewhere uh we'll tell you what we know next DeMontis Sabonis plays here. He finds Sabonis with the frosting on the cake, with the cherry on the sundae. Sabonis with a two-hand flush makes it 114-106. Sacktown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Flooring is your game? We'll help you win it. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. You want decor? Try. You want plumbing? You're right. LL Flooring has been helping pros knock it out of the park for over 30 years. Visit one of our 400 nationwide warehouses for one-on-one service, extensive inventory, and exclusive pro pricing. Get the pro treatment you deserve. Enroll today online or in-store. LL Flooring, every step covered. Sacramento Weather is brought to you by Arnold Law Firm. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. It is Tuesday. We're looking at a cool start to the day with mostly sunny skies. Today's going to be a nice day to be outdoors. Under those mostly sunny skies and light west winds, expect daytime highs upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. The recent storm has caused dangerous driving conditions for us. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down. Be alert and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company. 
and good guys heating and cooling. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Arch support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Arch support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Hey guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Gro Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. And this car's loaded with automatic transmission and 8 inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, El Grove Kia, and the El Grove Auto Mall, and online at elkgrovekia.com. El Grove Kia sale price $20,738. Kia rebate $750. Net price $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. KHTKAM HD1 Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the power business technology Toshiba Studios. This, this, this is Fat Town Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Three for Madness brought to you by Fire Wings. Coming up in uh, just moments. But first, welcome to Hour 2. Dave, Jason, Chris, all the way till 10 a.m. Then we hand the baton. There's actually a baton we have to hand off so the mics work. Yes. To uh, Style and Watkins. Was that the problem with the Kings broadcast last night? Yeah, there was. Someone forgot the baton. So, well, Jason was playing football with it. Oh. What do you call that kind of football? Is it like, like a paper catapult. football? The thing yeah. where you, you, hold, you fold the paper into a triangle and you flick it's, it. Yeah, paper football. Paper football. That was not paper football. That was like you were taking like a spit wad, basically. Yeah, like a little, the end of a spoon. And yeah, the end of a spoon and you and you were catapult. Yeah, and Whitey was filming it yesterday. At a, uh, it's a big moment. Meteor, a big moment. And uh, Matt George was the uh, field goal poles. Yeah. And uh, you got one right it. down into uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Right, right down a shirt. I did. Yeah, how about that? Right, good, dude. good for you. George Canyon. Uh, top five Jason Ross sports moments? Uh, probably one. Probably probably number one? Yeah. Uh, in front of a, uh, depending on who you believe, a reported seven or 8,000 uh, people yesterday, the Giants beat the Athletics 4-1 to one, um, at the Coliseum. 
That was regular season because I saw the Dodgers and the mm. Padres play. No, what happens is is that they played in Korea. Those counted, but then went back to spring training. They have spring training. Then there's opening day Thursday. Those are going to count, but then everybody goes back to Korea in, in May and plays a bunch of games that don't count. Got it. I think. Super easy. <clears throat> All right, we haven't talked about this in a while. Let's talk about the uh, Oakland Athletics, and let's talk about the uh, Oakland Athletics and Sacramento. So here is uh, uh, some of what I'm hearing, for what it's worth, which isn't much. Make it happen. Make it happen. No. Yes. On air fight. (laughs) Um, We've talked about it before. You're for it. Well, Again, for it, if if it's a last straw, if there's no saving Oakland. Of course. Right. That's priority one for everybody. And I'm very, very uh, much against it if, to your point, it screws Oakland and, yeah. and, 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 and lessens the chances of staying in Oakland by 5%, much less more. And I'm against it because I don't want Jeff Fisher anywhere near Sacramento. I'm right. Or John. Or John, or John Fisher. Yeah. Uh, no, Jeff, Jeff Fisher's yeah, Jeff, a terrible What's he going to do? Go 7-9? 81 <laughs> Um, that being said, what we knew before was here's what we know. The A's are going to play in Oakland this year. Correct. Uh, we don't know about next year, the year after the year after they say it's going to take three years before Vegas is open three yeah. seasons and allegedly Vegas in 28. <laughs> yeah. Sounds right. And there's three choices. We're really two and a half. There's Vegas. That's the half choice. It just doesn't sound like they have the infrastructure or are ready to be able to house the team. For three years prior, just just because in, in large part because yeah. of the heat. That leaves I, I sh- I'm sorry, I should yeah, I said three, two and a half. I meant three and a half. Three and a half I yeah. apologize. One is Oakland. Uh I think that's the one that uh we'd all prefer. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that's the one that most would prefer. Um, there have been talks. There's the Oakland Roots and another team that have agreed to play in Oakland. The A's have said they'd share the 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 Coliseum. But there's been talks back and forth, this, that, whatever. Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is like, yeah, dude, we're ready to go. We have a ton of money behind this thing. We have a great facility. The A's have kind of set that as, okay, cool. That's a serious contender. I don't think that's where they want to be. Yeah. But they know that they have, uh, no pun intended, an ace in the hole if, if everything else falls apart. Is San Francisco out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that is out. That is out. Playing there is out. And then that leaves Sacramento. <clears throat> and I think, again, from 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 the whispers, the A's actually would prefer to play in Sacramento. There's John Fisher and Vivek Ranadive have a relationship. In fact, Vivek uh, spoke to TV yesterday about that, how they're friends. Think what you will. That's just what he said. Um, it is a far closer commute and or relocation temporarily up here. They would, instead of in Salt Lake, where they would be drawing on 100% new A's fans, uh, they have a large A's market up here. Not to mention Sacramento is the biggest market in the country with only one major league team. Uh, the problem, from what I have understood, or at least the, 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 the tipping point here on the A's to Sacramento has been Comcast. Comcast currently has a deal with the A's, a TV deal. That is for a lot of money. Sacramento is not the market that Oakland is. So naturally, if the A's were to relocate for three years to Sacramento, Comcast would want to adjust that number down and renegotiate that deal. Now, what's interesting is that the Kings own the River Cats, which means they have a huge amount to gain in this situation. And the Kings also have a contract with Comcast. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't necessarily want to cross-pollinate, but there's a little bit of of, of maneuvering and, and leverage there on both sides. The weight, as I understand it, has been Comcast making an offer, uh, a counter offer, if you will, on adjusting that rate down so that the A's know what they're dealing with. Now, sources say there was movement on that yesterday. And whether it was verbal or written, I don't know, but that Comcast did a thing. Uh, it sounds like there are politics now involved going all the way up to the governor who very much want the A's to stay in California as long as possible, preferably in Oakland perhaps, but certainly in California. 
Um, I would say this. The way the chessboard looks right now at 7, 10 a.m., keeping in mind that these are deals done behind closed doors, things can fall apart. You're also dealing with TAs here. If I were betting, if I were, this is not me. Um, I, I, I'm not. I'm not speaking to emotion or anything right now. I'm just simply reporting here. Everyone knows how I feel about this. If I were a betting man, I would put incredibly heavy odds on the on the A's coming to Sacramento mm-hmm. and an announcement sometime in the next week or two. Now that could still fall apart, but that certainly sounds where things are going right now. Um, and then we get into if that were to happen. Then we have to get into, or we don't have to, but I will choose to get into the the ethics, the emotion, the thoughts surrounding it. Obviously, as a station, we will be all over that. Of course, we will. Um, Jason, you know, we, we had uh, some great conversations about this. You and I, I wouldn't say we're on opposite sides. I actually think we're very much on the same side, just uh, different outcomes. Um. I will say for me personally, if the A's were to come to Sacramento, the very first thing I would have to do is 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 talk to the people that know things. Because I think the only way that I could possibly even begin to stomach the A's coming to Sacramento is if I knew for an absolute fact that Oakland was off the table. Not that Oakland was leveraged, not that Oakland was unlikely, but that the I need to know that the A's made a decision at some point that it was going to be Salt Lake City or Sacramento. And I don't know all of the inner workings, but wouldn't that be, well, I mean, I guess there are loopholes in that, but I feel like if they got to that point, that's what happened is my belief. I mean, I could be wrong. On but that. The, the, the only issue there is, is that if Sacramento, if, if, if Sacramento along with Salt Lake city gave the A's leverage over Oakland, yeah. and in other words, if it's a situation where if Sacramento backed out, that would have increased the chances of the A's staying in Oakland for the next three years. I, then I I couldn't wrap my head around it. Mm-hmm. If the A's were basically saying, guys, we're we're going to leave Oakland for the next three years. Right. It's up to you. We're either going to Salt Lake City or we're going to Sacramento. Than then I think I probably, I'd rather them be here, but it would also, I, I, I think it would be very, very important to do it with open eyes. Yes, but I would also say this. Now, if this even camp comes about, the Vegas is still shaky that's right i mean is it out of the realm of possibility of the law the second they get out of oakland for yeah. salt lake or for yeah. sacramento yeah there's a chance that's the final home yeah exactly or the home and it may not be a big a chance, chance but there right. is a, there's a chance well right now there's none right they're not a they're, bottom of the ninth you're down five runs with an out right now they're not going to salt lake right that's now right. they're not going to sacramento so there's no chance that's right but the second they leave oakland right with the path to vegas mm-hmm. If there's a stop in between, there's a chance the stop in between is is the stop. A chance. And I would, and and I've very much been conversing, and so have you, with guys like Brody Brazil, Casey mm-hmm. Pratt, and then a lot of A's fans. And I'd be very curious. I'd love to get the most diehard A's fans in a room together and be like, okay, apart from just not being a fan anymore, which I understand. But if you if you were told there is a 0.0% chance that the A's are going to stay in Oakland and your choice is Sacramento or Las Vegas. I honestly wonder what they'd say. Right. Some of them might say Vegas, get as far away from me as possible. Others might say Sacramento. Uh, maybe them being here makes it more likely that they could go be up for sale, and there's there's some deep pockets here. But the number one thing I would want to get way ahead of right now because I guarantee you it's going to be a talking point, and anybody using this as a talking point, is it best ill-informed? Well, is it best irrationally optimistic and at worst ill-informed or just being disingenuous. The A's coming to Sacramento, if that were to happen, is not, it's not, it's under absolutely no circumstances. Zero chance. It's an expansion tryout or it's a relocation tryout for another team. That is not, that is something that's going to get pushed. I can promise you if that's the case, no chance. The Giants will not let that happen. Once the A's are gone, if they leave this state, the Giants will protect this territory with every ounce and fiber of their being, and they have the votes and they have the power to completely cut this off, which is why if you're wondering why would the Giants allow their AAA affiliate to relocate 
so that the A's could stay in Sacramento, if that's the case, it's because the Giants have been assured that if that, which is why I'm not really hot on the A's staying here, the Giants have been assured, hey, just let the Rivercats do their thing. You got three years and we're finally getting them out and you will own all of Northern California and part of Central California. Do not underestimate the bloody hand the Giants have in this whole thing and the influence they have in this whole thing as Your well. Your team. <clears throat> Former team. Mm. For now. We'll take a break. When we come back, three for madness brought to you by Fire Wings. Kings, Kings, more Kings. And uh, one question in here. Hey, remember when we all wanted uh, Malik Monk to start over uh, Kevin Herter? Mm -hmm. What if things keep going this way? And next year it's, do we want Malik Monk to start over Keon Ellis? Does that change your thought pattern? Mm -hmm. Three for madness next. The battle for a top six seed in the Western Conference continues tonight as Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks visit Golden One Center to face the Kings. Rebounded by Sacramento. Fox on the move. Three defenders in front of him. Doesn't make a lick of difference here. And Fox twists his way to the low right side and scores on the reverse. It's a huge clash tonight at 7 on your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia of Vacaville, Northern California's premier destination for automotive excellence. Get ready for an exhilarating showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup, where innovation meets the road and customer satisfaction reigns supreme. Step into the future with the all-new Kia Sportage, where cutting-edge design harmonizes with dynamic performance. Explore the outstanding fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that redefines eco-friendly driving. Experience the unparalleled luxury in versatility of the Kia Telluride, setting new standards for sophistication and practicality. Don't miss out on our impressive selection of eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, tailored for drivers who demand efficiency without compromising on style. And for those seeking the EV9, Kia of Vacaville has it ready for delivery or in stock. Visit us today during March Mania and discover why Kia of Vacaville is the ultimate destination for automotive excellence. Model availability and features may vary. Please visit Kia of Vacaville for more information. Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. Not only did the Kings win last night, but they got some help. Ooh. Oh, yeah, big time. Uh, a possible other team, Willody. Yeah, we'll get into that. A couple that. of couple, last night. Oh, <laughs> big Willody. Huge, yeah. Big, fat, hairy Willody on the East Coast last night. How can that be? Uh, the best team in the game. Well, maybe they're in uh, maybe they're in playoff form right now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Three for madness. Wow. You by that tickled Chris. Fire wings. <laughs> I love tickling Chris. <laughs> yeah. Question one. The Kings have now broken their two largest team losing streaks to the Bucks and Sixers. Is this the year that they break their make it to the second round streak? You know, I'm going to say this, and I've been hard on this team all year, but dollar for dollar, player for player, this is a better team than they were last year. I think this team beats last year's team in a seven-game series. Now, that doesn't mean that this team, that this is a better, I should put an asterisk there. This is a better team than last year if they're focused and if they're all mentally there. This team is certainly prone to huge flops on the face. But I think if you had last year's team playing to the best of their abilities and this year's team playing to the best of their abilities, I think this team wins in five or six in a seven-game series if they face each other. This is a team that is better equipped to advance at least past the first round. If the season ended right now, I think it's the Timberwolves and Kings. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be a hell of a series. I do worry about a couple of things, Number one, which are natural worries. Number one, the Kings going cold from outside. Uh, also, uh, I think going into this playoff series, whether it works or not, I don't know, but I can tell you Domantas Sabonis is going to be incredibly motivated to overcome all of the crap he's still dealing I honestly think he partially did make, you know, we talk about all-star snubs. I think we're developing into the point where I don't have every all-star snub in front of me, but you're not going to convince me Domantas Sabonis isn't the biggest all-star snub in history. Right. 
And I honestly think part of the reason he got snubbed was because of that Kevon Looney matchup last year. And mm-hmm. that still has stuck. People forget that he had a broken hand. People forget that the Warriors threw everything but the kitchen sink at him. And he still averaged 16 and 14 or whatever the hell it was. I think he's going to go in. He's, he's got this thing on him now unfairly that like, oh, once you get in the playoffs and it slows down, uh, he's completely ineffective and he can't make a shot outside of two feet. He's going to be incredibly motivated. And we're going to see. Is he like, uh, you know, Barry Bonds in the playoffs? Uh which forever sucked until the the Angel series where he actually had a great series, mm-hmm. even though they still lost. Or is he? It w- was that a flash in the pan? So I think this team is better equipped to advance, but they gotta they gotta have the mental part with the physical part too. Yeah, and it's really difficult to say because I agree. I think some elements are better. I think they're noticeably better in some elements, but it's gonna be matchups, right? I mean, yeah. did they get the wrong one? Is it another team equally as good or playing better basketball at the time? Um, I think they're equipped to do it. I really do. Um, but it's going to come down to who they get in the in the postseason, which matchup, uh, and is it right for them. How do you feel about the Timberwolves? I feel pretty good about the Timberwolves. Actually, I feel better about the Timberwolves, honestly, with Towns. As weird as that Interesting. might be. No, I, I know, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, just because there's some certain things that he's going to hurt you, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. I don't want to trivialize him. Yeah. But when they play two bigs, I they also have to guard the Kings. And right. I think that's where... Now there'll be moments to the Kings play small, and I think that could be right. advantageous. And then also moments that hurts them. So that's the fun part of it, like the chess match of a long series. If you could pick one of their bigs, Towns or Gobert, to play, which one makes Minnesota better? Probably, uh, probably Gobert, I but I, I'm not. I I'm agree. not 100%. I'm 90 percent sure. Okay, I, I think you're right. I think because I think he Rudy Gobert is. The defensive wins yes. over the offensive wins yes. in Towns, I think. 100%. I yeah. think he just, he's such a game changer on yeah. defense. It's absolutely ridiculous. But either way, it's nice to have two options. Yes. I, I think you have a point, though. Putting the two of them together may not be as good as one of them on their own because right. of that height and lack of speed. Yeah. Uh, all right. Question number two, please. Question two. Okay. You wanted Monk starting for Herder, but what about next year? Do you want him starting for Ellis? Okay. If it meant the difference between Monk going or staying, uh, sorry, Kia. But I don't think they're a better team necessarily if that happens. You know, there's a difference between having Monk come off the bench. By the way, I I wanted, uh, we've talked many times about Monk starting for Herder and being in favor for it. This is a little bit of a different animal. The Sacramento Kings improvements in defense over the last month, really specifically three weeks, have been worldly. And Keon Ellis is a part of that. Keon Ellis is what now? Seven and one, I seven think. Seven and one is a starter. And the one loss was the Wizards. I know. And by the way, Keon Ellis, I think, played as few or close to as few minutes in that game as any of the others. I think they're a better team with Keon. So far right now in a very small sample size, I think they're a better team with Keon Ellis starting than if with Malik Monk starting and Keon's coming off the bench. You don't, you don't. Yes, it's nice to bring defensive stoppers off the bench, but that's not the same as bring, bringing an offensive spark off the bench. Um, but like I said, if Malik Monk's negotiating with Monty McNair, it's like, okay, dude, I just need to know that I'm going to start or, or I got to go to Philly or wherever. All right. Well, we might be, we might not be as good of a team, but we'll figure it out. We don't want to lose you. Yeah. You know, what's going to be interesting is the next 11 games for many reasons, the standings, the, where they finish. Yeah. But fact finding on Keon, right? I mean, seven and one, you can't ignore. I'm not saying that's the end all be all. Is it coinciding with just the team playing better? Is it a coincidence? I mean, the stats, the plus minus, the difference he's made defensively, the metrics are showing it. So if they're substantially better over the final 11, yeah, I mean, this is one of those things that really makes decision makers think. I mean, I certainly want Monk back. There's no reason to say, oh, just because Keon, if he had just this amazing finish, we don't need to sign Monk. Monk's super valuable to this team. Yeah. But it makes you, th- it, you know, to me, it, it, it's not quite the same equivalent day, but it's it's finding Brock Purdy. And it's like, wow, we can start this guy at QB and save everywhere and spend everywhere else. Keon just got a two elevated from a two way contract a few weeks ago. Well, maybe a month or two yeah. ago. That's amazing. And he he could be a key piece to a starting lineup on a playoff team. That's incredible. It really, really is. Um, Good for him. Yeah, it's a hell of a decision, man. Yeah, and then you obviously have to decide. I mean. 
Maybe our guy Herter played his last game. I don't. I hope not. I don't know. Who knows? These are all things that we can like every single player. That's not how you do this. you got to try to make yourself better. Maybe you have to redesign your entire offense around a front line of Sabonis and Zach Eady. I don't know. Good. I don't know. Yeah. You know, Kings don't have the first round pick this year. Right. Maybe they trade up. Well, as long as they make it right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, maybe they trade one of their 700 second round picks. Yes. Move up and get Zach Eady. Hey, we never really talked about that. How crazy. I don't mean crazy like in a bad way, but like. Some of the mocks have Zach Eady going like between 31 and 40, mm-hmm. and Bob Gerald has him like going 11. Yeah. And, and I feel like that's it'd be really interesting to see where Zach Eady goes yes. in the draft this year. Uh, question three, please. Question three Kings versus Dallas tonight. What's your confidence level? Well, last Wednesday, the Kings won in Canada, Thursday, they lost in Washington, Saturday, they won in Orlando. Monday, they won at home against Philly, and then they play tonight. Fifth game in seven days. So it's the fifth game in seven days. This is day seven. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. It's not just the fifth game in seven days. It's the fifth game over multiple time zones and literally international. Yeah. It's the only time it's happened. It will happen all season. I've been saying for the last week, I think the Kings will win both. That'd be massive. If they're going to lose this one, <laughs> on paper, if they're going to lose one, it's going to be tonight. Dallas but, played last night, too, and they traveled. But, of course, if you told me the Kings were going to win tonight and lose on Thursday, I, I don't, Friday, I don't yeah. know. Friday, excuse me. Uh, also, we need to find out, can can someone at shoot-around, some media person listening that's going to be there, are you going to be at shoot-around? You won't be at shoot-around, no. right? Can somebody ask uh, uh, what uh, they're doing? What they're doing for I'll the ask. next three days? Thank you, yeah. thank you. What, what the heck are you doing? Are you staying here? And if so, do you have any plans? Are you going to Napa? Are you, are you going to go to the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco and take that like glass elevator thingy yeah. up and down? I did that in fourth grade. That was cool. Are you going to go rafting? Probably a little cold. Railroad Museum. Have the buffets prepared for Demonis? Demonis, jeez. <laughs> Luka Doncic. What are you inferring? The fact that you flubbed that so hard made it actually funnier. I know. Um, that is true. Our restaurant stocking up. Yeah. For the uh, for the onslaught of He's the appetite. up. Yeah. <laughs> you got sausage arms and cankles. Because uh, Chalupa Don Thick is going to be here for four days. The good thing is with the two games here, there won't be one complaint by Luca during a game. Nine. Zero. Now, now that we're talking about restaurants, do you think he's that guy like, oh, this wasn't cooked right? Oh, I wanted this on the side. Sends oh, it back. Yeah. Like a picky eater. Yeah. You're 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 honestly implying that you think Luka Doncic gets a, a plate in front of him and takes the time to look at it and discern it. <laughs> no, I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you right now, it's <laughs> done. Next. Don't don't isolate that, please. Um as he goes for a 40 triple double time. I know we kid because we care. You think In and Out can handle that? <laughs> also, how does DeMontis Sabonis not have an In and Out sponsorship? Then again, when was the last time you saw an In and Out commercial? So there's that. Yeah. I don't, don't really know. need it. At, they at have the airport? In- <laughs> Seriously. Oh, hey, we have an airport. <laughs> Let's use it. We'll take a break when we come back. Uh, it was a wild night. Wild night in the NBA. The Kings got some help, and uh, other things happened that were silly. We'll go around the world in the National Basketball Association next. Can Mike Brown build on last season's Coach of the Year award? Can the Kings exceed 48 wins? We will be better prepared to make the run that we expect to run come next playoff. Tune in to every Kings game this season on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Calling all sports fans. Experience the ultimate game day atmosphere at Fieldhouse, Sacramento's premier sports bar. With TV scattered throughout the pub, you'll never miss a moment of the action. From football and basketball to baseball, MMA, boxing, and beyond. Voted as the number one sports bar in Sacramento, we're your destination for all things sports. Swing by our convenient location at 1310 Fulton Avenue, or you can order online for delivery or pickup. Join us at Fieldhouse American Sports Pub, where every game is front and center. I'm Craig Ashton of the Injury Law Firm of Ashton & Price. Whether you've been injured on a bicycle as a pedestrian in a slip and fall, auto, Uber, Lyft, or big rig accident, you need Ashton & Price in your corner. When you call Ashton & Price, there's no chatbot telling you to hit three for accounting. 
You're greeted by a real live person who will immediately transfer you to an experienced attorney. The consultation's free, and there's never a fee until you win. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com Your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. Sports Fix. Live and local. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Tom says on the YouTube chat, I feel like Luca goes to Orangevale after games and drinks heavily when he's playing in Sacramento. <laughs> Orangevale, Luca? I just found out the other day randomly that this guy I used to work with when I was a teenager, he was younger than me. We worked at, remember I told you I used to work in this like telemarketing place. Yes. And I managed it for a while. Right. Oh, you have to check out that documentary. I really, really, honestly, I've had so many, I really do. And it's even saved. You were a manager. I I went, I started as a teenager. I started when I was 15 and I managed the Carmichael office. I want to say from the time I was 19 to 21. What did that entail? Did you Uh, have pens? (laughs) Follow the script. Here's the thing. When you work in that, right, like you're telemarketing all day. Uh, uh, You open it at 1 p.m. or we opened at noon and you go noon to 9 p.m. And the prime time hours, of course, when everyone's home. And you got to be on the phone and every day it's like, hey, this is uh, Carmichael Dave. I'm calling for the police. Thingy, dingy, dingy. Uh, Do you think... uh, do you think law enforcement, you know, there's always some jive-ass question that they'd start with. Do you think law enforcement could use more support and help and uh, keep kids off of drugs? Like, I'm not joking. That's literally, like, the question or one of them. Well, yeah, of course they do. Well, fantastic, Mr. Ross. That's why we're calling. Uh, right now, the uh, the police athletic league is doing their uh, keep kids off a cocaine rally at the whatever the hell. Yeah. And, uh you know, for your uh, small donation of a uh, hundred dollars for the whole year, it's going to keep uh, tons of kids doing uh, great, awesome things. Uh, oh, what'd you say your name was? Uh, my name's Dave. Lose my number, Dave. <laughs> and then you know you got to cross them off, which you don't. But uh, it would always be like you say a hundred dollars, maybe a hundred dollars. I don't know, hundred. Well, how about you know what? Honestly, we understand times are tough. How about how about thirty five bucks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Okay, great. Well, we'll send out the thing and you mail it back because you know we just wanted the thirty five. Anyways, it was whatever. But you manage that. I So anyways, you know, shockingly, I have a career in radio. Like, I had a deep voice when I was a kid. I knew how to read. So <laughs> that's all you really needed to do. Um, but the great thing about being a manager is you didn't have to get on the phone anymore. And uh-huh. if you did get on the phone, you were calling what, what, what were called PCs, previous contributors. So there were people that already contributed. Yeah. Some for years did it every year. Most people honestly thought, like, this, this the thing that you get a little sticker that you put on your car with, like, the police badge on it and all that. Like, eh pull me over go ahead i'm a big supporter you know that type of thing so it was implied we never said that of course um but anyways 
you, there's a big difference between calling somebody cold right. and calling somebody who gives it. Hey, we just want to sign you up for your, it looks like you give uh, 50 every year. This year at 75. Is that good? No. Okay. 50 then. Or, Oh yeah. 75. I bumped it up. So you do that. Anyways, you get off the phone and my assistant manager, uh, what, one of them was a guy who was actually a year younger than me. And we ran that. I mean, listen, I, I won't say where I worked for. I know I used a, a random charity, but it could have been whatever. But um, let me tell you something, dude. We would we would work our tails off, and we pretty much lived there. I turned apart. This is right on uh, Fair Oaks Boulevard uh, near Marconi, right? Right by, uh, I don't know where the hell it was by. It was a taco place. Uh-huh. And uh, there was a back room in there that we used. I, I ended up being able to get a pool table <laughs> and delivered there. Yeah, you're right. Um, and you your cans off. one of the guys, one of our callers was a weed dealer. And so we always, you know, whatever. So after, you know, 9 o'clock it hit, we'd finish everything up, and we'd just... You know what I'm saying? Oh, and that's the year you won manager of the year. That, that, that is a little trophy and everything. Yeah. And anyways, long story long, and then we'll get back to it. Uh, I just found this out. So this guy who was, who was responsible, but not a guy I would pick to be super successful in life. Um, he owns like two bars in Orangevale now. He owns he owns them. I stopped. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Scotty's Hideaway. Have you ever heard of that in uh, Orangevale? Sorry to give him a plug there. but there was, he, Can't uh, find it. Oh, no. <laughs> he bought a bar. It's like, you have a bar? I want a bar. I do really kind of want to buy a bar. But I've Why always you? I, I feel like it's a lot of work. Hmm. Plus, oh, like yeah. people getting fights and stuff. And there's, you know, where are you putting the bar? I, honestly, I'd want to. I want to get a bar and open it right by G One C. I think it'd be awesome. What would just, be your gimmick? Oh, probably... just it's just a king's theme bar. Okay, just a king sports bar with okay. dartboards, pool tables, stuff. It's just old fashioned, old, old fashioned sports bar. Have a sports bar right by there. Maybe put a little studio in there. Axe throwing. I feel like there's some liability there. Okay. You know, I don't want to deal with all that insurance stuff. And, and, and but you know, I'd be a good bar owner. I don't drink. I'm not going to get high on my own supply. I mean, I drink sodas yeah. occasionally, one a day, maybe. Kings got help last night. That was my transition. Yeah. Uh, Kings got help last night in a way they did sure not did. expect. Um, the Phoenix Suns, dude. What are you doing? Because everyone played. Oh, except for Victor Weminyama. That's right. But everybody played pretty much for the Suns. Kevin Durant at 29, 8, and 6. Booker at 36. Booker at 36. Bradley Beal was there. Mm. Well, that, that's uh, sure sure the hate that we didn't get him. Yeah, they lost 3 of 4 to San Antonio. That is. You know, some matchups make uh, styles make uh, fights, they say. And now 10 games left for the Suns. The team they play with the worst record left, the Kings. Mm. Well, that's the worst the record worst. team they have left. 26 points and 18 rebounds for Jeremy Sochan. 26 for Florida State's Devin Vassell with seven assists. And, um, yeah, dude, the Spurs win 104-102. And, boy, was that a help for Sacramento, who now has sole possession of sixth place. Yeah, on the tiebreaker, right? Tied with Dallas. They have the tiebreaker that gets this two game little mini playoff series now. And the Spurs drop to eight, or excuse me, the Suns drop to eight. The Boston Celtics outscored their opponent last night 98 to 74. Wait, I flipped that. The Atlanta Hawks outscored the Boston Celtics 98 to 76. The Celtics led in Atlanta 44-22 after one and lost by two. Yeah, led by 30 at one point. I saw the stat. Uh, teams are 152-0 and when leading by 30 this year until that one. The <sighs> team with the best record in the league. And Atlanta didn't have Trey Young either. No, they did not, which, by the way, is that saying something? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it was a balanced night. Two guys, Bogdan Bogdanovich, excuse me, uh, no, Bogdan Bogdanovich and uh, and and uh, not Clint Capella, who was the other, uh, DeAndre Hunter, uh, both uh, in the mid-20s, 24 and 22, uh, won all five starters in double figures, um, plus Bruno Fernando with 13 off the bench. It was just one of those, like, crazy, crazy moments. Mm-hmm. I didn't help the Kings, so that's just, that. that's a, that's a Suns Wolody, and that's a Celtics Wolody, yeah. if I, if I ever saw one. Uh, the Knicks won 24 to 99. We mentioned yesterday that Knicks game versus the Kings at Madison Square Garden will be on TNT. Yes. Want to, you know another interesting fact about that game? What's that? And a fun fact, Jason Ross. 
our general manager will be in attendance. Oh, I did hear that. Yeah. Yes. I also think, uh, I did I see Crown Downtown saying some of them will be in oh. attendance as well? So Well, and even in that game last night, random stat from that one, former King Dante DiVincenzo set the Knicks record for 11 made threes in a game. He took 23 pointers. I mean, 11 of 20 is still good. What though. the hell, man? Where was that? Scored 40. Where was that? Here. Dante. You couldn't have given us some of that? Yeah. Wiener. Hmm. Dante DiVincenzo, 14 of 23. As you said, 11 of 20 from beyond the arc. 40 points for him. 28 points for Jalen Brunson. 124. The Knicks hold another team under 199. Uh, is your final the Nuggets beat the Grizzlies the Mavs beat the Jazz so uh, they keep pace and uh, how about those Pacers speaking of keeping pace 133 to 116 uh, was your final uh, shockingly once we get closer to playoff time a James Harden led team is beginning to trail yeah. yeah and I think if I'm not mistaken didn't the aren't they in a tie now with the Pelicans they are in a tie now with the Pelicans, Jason Ross. When we uh, zoom out and look at the standings, and there's a couple interesting things going on right th- now. This is after. This is as of seven forty in the morning. Okay, it could change. Oh, you're right. Uh, could change uh, later today. The uh, Nuggets still just one game up on the Thunder, one and a half up on the Minnesota Timberwolves. So there is definitely a battle going on between the defending champions uh, and the two newbies. Yeah, but that's your top three. That's, that's not top change. three. No. Yeah. Uh, then you have what was. Uh, yeah, the Clippers right there. Mm-hmm. The Clippers have officially been caught. Uh, the Clippers have lost two in a row. The Clippers have lost six of 10. The Pelicans and Clippers are now tied at 44 and 27 mm-hmm. for the four and the five spot. The Kings and the Mavs now, who are tied at 42 and 29, they are just two back of both the Clippers and the Pelicans. Oh, God. I just realized something. Uh, and, and the Suns are a half game back of the Kings and yeah. Browns. Oh, God. You know what's in play here? Pelicans, Kings, first round. A 5-4, five, 4-5? Four, four, five? Yeah. Potentially. I legit would rather tank and, and be play. Sixth. I would rather play the Wolves, the Thunder, or the Nuggets yeah. than the Pelicans. Like, unless some, well, I mean, I know Ingram's hurt yeah. and you don't wish injury on anyone. Right. But unless, like, I need, like, another injury on the Pelicans for me to feel any sort of confident about that. I want any part of the Pelicans. I don't want to go near them. I don't want to see a Pelican. <laughs> I don't even want, I don't want to see a cartoon Pelican. Yeah. I don't want to go to New Orleans, which is my favorite city other than Sacramento. I don't want to go to Louisiana. Yeah. Wow. But they, the Kings right now, if the Clippers continue to fall. Right. <sighs> Kings play both of them still once. I didn't look at that. And then did you look at the, the hottest team in the league, Team 11? I love this. Over 500. Now what? Half back of the Warriors? Or uh, back? They are one half game. The Houston Woo! Rockets, who have won nine in a row. And yes, why is it whenever they play the Kings, it's in the middle or starting a giant win streak? They did that earlier this I year. I know. And, and no, then they sucked. And no Shangoon. No Shangoon, who, uh, who injured himself against the uh, Kings. Sacramento Kings. By the way, you mentioned this as we go to break. Here's a trivia question for you. You probably know, and if you know, don't answer. Who's the hottest team in the East? I do know. We actually talked about this before the show. That'd be the Washington Wizards. First three-game win streak of the year. The Washington Wizards going into the Kings game had won 11 games. They're now on a three-game win streak. The rubber test of the NBA, baby. You're Sacramento Kings. We'll take a break. When we come back... Let's talk about DeMontis Sabonis. He's not just a fun song to sing. He's also a fantastic basketball player. What a year the biggest all-star snub of all time is having. And did that all-star snub in the end? Was that the best thing for Domas and for Kings fans? We're going to get into DeMontis Sabonis. This is stats coming up right after this. On the move, got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sacktown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. Your gas light's on. We need to fill up. Gas around here is too expensive. Don't drive all over searching for the lowest prices. Just download the free Upside app and get cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying gas? I'm stopping now to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or e-gift card. Download the free Upside app now and use promo code GIFT for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. That's promo code GIFT. 
Everyday Sentai service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies. First aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Sentai helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Sentai can do for you. Visit Sentai.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Event is on. Get out there this season in a powerful new Toyota truck. Tear it up on or off the road and explore every terrain with Toyota's industry leading reliability. Right now, get low 1.99% APR financing on the powerful 2024 Tundra and Tundra Hybrid. Or check out the all new redesigned 2024 Tacoma. Hurry in. Toyota's Ready Set Go sales event ends soon. Toyota, let's go places. Offer available through TFS to buyers with premium rated credit. Excludes TRD Pro and S4124. Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati, the host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140, Saturdays at 10 a.m. I'm excited about our second location at the Roseville Galleria as True Sports Cards continues our expansion. And to celebrate this day, we're excited to announce that Kevin Herter will be signing autographs on March 30th at 3 p.m. You can get your tickets for this event right now by going to truesportscards.com, searching Kevin Herter in the search bar and buying your ticket. Limited tickets are available, so please go to the website, truesportscards.com, and get your Kevin Herter tickets right now. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Bradley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Hey, it's Carmichael Day for my good friends at American Energy. Now, I've told you this before, but this is what we call extending a good deal. Right now, American Energy Heat and Air is offering an HVAC diagnostic for $99. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Never mind. They're offering it free. It's a $99 value, but you get it for zero. Let the American Energy team test your system connections and all the moving parts of that system to ensure that it's functioning properly. Now, this is a limited time offer. Expires March 31st. Call today to schedule your appointment at 916-520-9990. Speak to the company that has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that's been making the greater Sacramento area proud since 1981. 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Call 916-520-9990 now. Carmichael D. He has very good sources, and he, he just kind of tells it as it is and gets to the point. Jason Ross. He has a lot of pretty smart things to, to say. He's good at what he does. On Sacktown Sports. Welcome back. Jason made it funny right before we went on the air. I would like to ask, you know, we appreciate the audience. We we don't say that enough. We never do. You can't say it enough. Appreciate all of you. Uh, some of you are here sometimes. And uh, some of them, uh, some of you are here occasionally. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I, I thought about this last night, Jason. Saying it's one thing, but actions are another. So I thought I, I just want to hijack part of the segment here uh, on behalf of you and, and Chris, all three of us wanted to do something nice for the audience. Um, I have a $100 gift card to Jiffy Lube. I was going to use it on springerizing my vehicle, not Jerry, but other stuff. Right. Did Jerry leave us, by the way? Recently? Yeah. 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 Right. P. Jerry's right. Um, I'm going to give it to the audience. I say I, we are going to give this from all three of us with love, KIT, BFF. All you have to do is call in right now at 1-800-920-1140. And, and here, here's your task. I know a lot of you were listening last night to the legendary Gary Gerald. You probably heard 
his Jiffy Lube drive of the game. Call in right now and tell us what that drive of the game was. We're going to give you a $100 gift certificate just for listening. It's that simple. Because we heart emoji yeah. arrow through at you. Yeah. The thing. The, the What Jason's doing. The, th- the thing where you make a heart with your hands. Much like, uh, I don't know, he, uh, Domas was making some sort of gestures to his family after yeah. he uh, broke the record yesterday. Uh, by the way, very classy move by Kevin Love as well, tweeting out congratulations cool. to the uh, the new Double Double Good King. Good in-arena tribute. That was that was a goosebump moment in the arena. 100%. During a timeout, the whole timeout, everybody's just watching him because uh, and Sabonis gets up, hugs Mike Brown. It's yeah. Just, it was really It cool. was so cool. It's such a, it's such a really, really uh, cool accomplishment. Here's what it sounded like. Kyle Lowry down near the midcourt line, throws a cross court to Buddy Heel, creeping forward. Now drives it on Duarte, sealed off, has to give it up, run toward the rim. Ball stripped out of the hands of KJ Martin. It's grabbed by the Kings. Malik Monk, Davion Mitchell on the run. And then the King and King goes to the rim. Rejected at the rim. Got by Sabonis, and he puts it back up and in. Sabonis doing his thing that time after a rejected shot. It's now 69-53. Here's a pass broken up by the Kings in traffic. Great defensive play by Keegan Murray. Sabonis has it. Comes up the floor. Drives inside. Bounce pass to a cutting Duarte. There's a beautiful cut to the rack and a score. And that will result in a timeout being called by Philadelphia. Sabonis tapping his chest. He's being acknowledged here by his teammates because he has the double-double that is the first time extending a streak now to 54 consecutive games. Hey, so cool. Look at that. Want to also point out, too, uh, arguing with one of our ding-dong, speaking of loving our listeners, not all of them, though, <laughs> one of our ding-dong listeners, Roy, on who's now switched over to Twitter, but we'll see him in the YouTube chat every once in a while. I made a comment last night, which I don't think was out of line whatsoever after uh, the very beginning of the game. If you look at the replay, Demont Sabonis took an absolute elbow shot to the chin. Now, as a fan of the fight sports, we all know the chin is what's what we call the button. That is where you want to hit somebody and you want to concuss them. You want to knock them out. That's the easiest way to do it. Replay after replay showed he took a full force elbow to the chin. And you could tell, not, not that he's ever faking it or anything. There might be some drama there, but that he was like legitimately hurt. Like he, and what I'd said is, if this was the NFL and he took a shot like that, they'd have him out a little bit for concussion protocol. Um, and for him to be able to, it's not just the triple doubles that he leads the league in or the double doubles that he just broke the record for. It's the fact that in a contract year, basically, or coming up on a contract year, he played through a broken hand for almost the entire season last year. He last night after taking that shot to the chin uh, got a shot on the side of the head on the te- in the temple, which if anybody's ever been elbowed in the temple, it's no fun. Right. Uh, to the point where he was bleeding. He had a gash on the side of his temple, and it's like, clean me up, cut me, Mick, and put me back in. He's tough as nails, and no offense to anybody else on the team. There's no one in the league that brings it more every single night than DeMontis Sabonis. Every night. He plays the same way. Same way. It yep. doesn't matter who he's playing. He, he, there's no... He might have the occasional off night, but there is no like, oh, Domas really seemed lethargic out there. Well, and you know, for we go through different talking points and different things we talk about to the season when they're losing, whatever. This team needs dogs. How yes. is he not that? He, he is a dog. He's been that. What what he's not, and what I where I, I think the disconnect maybe is, what he's not is he when I when I say dog, yeah. I mean, like Trey Lyles is kind of dogish. The guy that's okay, getting... that might get into it with another teammate. Yeah, but okay. his his superpower is everything you just said. Yes, playing every day, playing well, playing the same way, playing hard. And if that's not a great example to anybody else on the team, yeah, agreed. Um, and I think we will hear it later. But Darren a visit with G Man. He's like, look, the day after the All Star break, I mean, he had food poisoning. He was really sick. We were sure he wasn't playing. Wow. And when he plays, like. Uh, how's anybody else supposed to say, well, you know, I don't, I don't feel he plays like through it. everything. Yeah. He pl- he is just, he is a consummate professional. Um, I know there's all this talk about Halliburton and Sabonis and yada, yada, in all seriousness, love Halley, love the trade, love, love, hope he does everything. I wouldn't change any, I would right. not change it for the world. What an amazing trade. What an amazing acquisition. And I think DeMontis Sabonis is already, I think 
relatively easily in the top five Sacramento Kings of all time. He needs more longevity, but, you know, one would argue. But I think performance-wise, he's there. Uh, he's had arguably the best season ever by a Sacramento. You traded for the person that had the best season ever in Sacramento. I Kings think this history. is it. It's him or Weber. Weber's the only person that ever made a first team all yeah. NBA. Yeah. I don't know if Sabonis will make first team. It would be another snub, but I don't think he will either. But I would also say this Weber wouldn't have made it over Jokic. Right. It, but it's also three timing. it's three front court players. So uh -huh. to me, the four front court candidates mm -hmm. are Jokic, yeah. Sabonis, mm -hmm. Giannis, and Tatum. Yeah. I don't know that he's gonna get it. I think he should. I'm a purple glasses wearing Who do you guy. Take out? Um And what's funny when people yeah, automatically I, say you, I, I'm going to just say this and I, I feel like it'll be total pushback Yeah. when people say you can't take out Jokic, just why? I mean, tell me why is he <sighs> like, I know your, your phrasing has been diet, Yeah. Yet, but what's the diet part? I think the diet part at this point is what scoring it's scoring and it's seeding. Jokic yes. is the defending champion. Jokic is the one seed in the West. Jokic is, is, Yes, he has Porter. Yes, he has Jamal Murray, oh, no. he, but, but yeah. he is the alpha and the omega. Okay. And yeah, I think he's he's right. And by the way, is he still ahead of DeMontis in assist average? I don't know, but Sabonis leads the NBA in assists in 2024. Yeah, since, since yeah, in 2024, he lead. He, yes, you're 100% correct. I just honestly, I know Jokic had him. Let's look here real quick. Uh, yeah, Jokic has nine. Uh, Sabonis has 8.3. So he's he's just under a full assist ahead of him. Uh, and then when, when it comes to scoring, yeah, he's more. that's, you but know, Sabonis he's got to buy rebounding. Yeah. Right. So I mean, I, I, I'm just, I don't think it's as lopsided. I agree with you. I mean, I, I agree. would pick Jokic too. I would pick Jokic. I can't leave Giannis out because not only what then he's he doing offensively, but also, sorry, he's a better defender than Sabonis. Okay, and then Tatum, if we're doing CD, if 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 Jokic is winning, yeah. is a favorite, there's nobody that has a better record than Boston. Yeah, uh, you're right. And you know we would feel a yeah, certain way right. if Tatum was on the, or the Kings had that record and didn't get a first-team All-NBA. Yeah, uh, you're right. But second team, there's nothing wrong with second team. No. But I still think, look, double-doubles, stats, all that. Sabonis had an amazing season. I think Sabonis should get it anyways, even yeah. though that would screw somebody else, but I don't care. Uh, Matthew, good morning. Matthew. Matt. Matthew. Matthew. Are we turned up good there? Good morning. Oh, good morning. Hi, how, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good, man. Just headed off to work. Head off to work. What do we do for a living? Uh, I install Fidium Fiber Internet. Were you at my house the other day asking me if I wanted Fidium? Uh, I don't do the sales, but I do the install. Gotcha, gotcha. Somebody came by. No, thank you, but appreciate it. What was the uh, Jiffy Lube drive of the game, my friend? Uh, was it Demonis to bonus drives to the basket? Um, was, uh, shoot, I'll shoot. What is, is that? Your it was, it was against Buddy Hill, wasn't it? I was listening to it on the radio last night, man. I was working late last night. So, your contribution, and we appreciate you listening, but your guess is again, what Demontis Sabonis doing what? Driving to the hole against Buddy Hill. I am sorry. Oh, we have our first miss in a while. We appreciate I'm it. Actually trying to remember what it was. But that last is night. that is not there that many is a good that place. Is, yeah, that is not it. Oh. No, that is not. Chris, good morning, Chris. You've got a second life. Hello. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Jason. How are you? Good morning. Great. Thank you. Good morning. I appreciate you saying good morning to Jason. Yeah, because I get a complex. Yeah, sometimes people are just like, hey, Dave, I, I, I very, I'm rooting for you. I go uh, and cry. What was the, yeah, <laughs> and then I, you know, I get a big snot stain yeah, on my you shoulder. Do. You're very, do it for me. Uh, what, what, what was the Jiffy Lube drive of the game? Was it Keon Ellis making a three pointer by assisted by Darren Fox? Uh, was it Keon Ellis making a three pointer assisted by De'Aaron Fox? Jason, I'll ask you to look, and you agree or disagree with me. Are we over? I think we are. Unless that's mislabeled. I honestly don't remember. It's kind it. of what I'm starting to worry about, but maybe not. Let's see one well, more. Those are two clearly different answers. Michael, good morning. Hey, I'm guessing it was a Fox entry pass to Mitchell. Fox entry pass. I don't like when they say guessing. Uh, and that's what was it. Did they well, say? It was a while ago. I, I work graveyard, so oh, gotcha. uh, I'm a bit sleepy. 
Oh, that's, that's okay. So am I. Yeah. Uh, they say third time's a charm. They do. But I don't know if that's accurate. One dribble only. Hands it off to Fox. Great pass inside. And a twisting reverse is scored by Davion Mitchell. Without a doubt, that's your Jiffy Lube drive of the game. Spectacular entry pass on the bounce from De'Aaron Fox to Davion Mitchell for the quick two points and a four-point Sacramento lead. Hey, congratulations Yay. on two fronts. Number one, uh, you, you stayed up after the graveyard to, to get the big Jiffy Lube $100 gift certificate. Secondly, thank you, because we were beginning to doubt ourselves <laughs> that it was mislabeled. Davion Mitchell, beautiful entry pass from De'Aaron Fox. Michael, congratulations. The only other thing I ask of you is just a favor. This isn't a requirement to win, but what sports station makes all your Jiffy Lube $100 gift certificate dreams come true? That counts sports. Mm. I just love it. I love it when they hit it. Clutch. You, 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 you underhand in a little, but yeah. It's, it's like just, he woke up for that. Ah, well, sports. I'm going to be able to work tonight. He's going to be up all day. Yeah. Super excited. Thank you to Jiffy Lube as well. We'll take a break. Uh, we still got to get to uh, DeMontis post game audio. We got a lot of sound uh, to get to. When we come back, though, uh, Jason, are, are the Kings. Hold on. Are the Kings. Are the Kings. Careful. I can do this. I know we got a break here. Are the Kings good at defense? Excuse me? Are they good at business? But that, but defense. Let's Crazy talk. Can, can we have a discussion about we it? We can. We'll okay. try. All right. We'll do that next. The battle for a top six seed in the Western Conference continues tonight as Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks visit Golden One Center to face the Kings. Rebounded by Sacramento. Fox on the move. Three defenders in front of him. Doesn't make a lick of difference here. And Fox twists his way to the low right side and scores on the reverse. It's a huge clash tonight at 7 on your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater sack Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit jiffylube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close by well lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action. That's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. The weather's warming up. Spring is here. And so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Gro Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Gro Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, Elk Grove Kia in the Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. Elk Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. 
Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at SubcontractorsUnited.com. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. KHTK AM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Ah, Tape it on the local level. Live and local, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at nine. Don't look at the chicken. Are the Kings good? <laughs> Got me. <laughs> Are the Kings good at defense? Jason, I can make a case. This month they have been. The Sacramento Kings held their opponents under 100 points yesterday. Yes, again. Now, and I think this is three time in six games, four time in eight fourth games. Fourth time in eight games. Okay. They've held, it's funny, I tweeted this last night, and I did not, this this is what kind of sucks about, well, there's a lot that sucks about social media. I tweeted this out last night after the game, and then I'm scrolling through Twitter about a half hour later, and I see that Chris Watkins had tweeted out pretty much the exact same tweet earlier, except he had a different number for a couple of things. Yeah. You and I, I had a similar tweet, too. Uh, which one was that? The Adelman and Brown. Oh, you did that... See, and that's what sucks is it's like it looks like you're stealing from someone. It's like, I, I you, you know, you can't see every tweet. I, I saw Chris's. I didn't see yours. I saw Chris's. What do you think? I, I saw yours. I, I should have seen yours, and I'm sorry. I wasn't paying enough attention. We were you were looking at the chicken. I was looking exactly at the chicken. I, and the funny thing is, is Chris tweets his, then I tweet mine, then I see that Chris tweeted his, and I actually – copied his tweet and in my reply i said oh sorry chris already tweeted this go go give him the likes and his numbers are probably right anyways to which chris then later replied actually all my numbers you had the right numbers mine were wrong which is probably the first time ever i've got the numbers right yeah. uh here's the deal the kings have held four of their last did you say nine i said eight you said eight four of their last nine opponents i didn't mean nine two under 100 points jason in their previous 62 games that's the amount of games they had before nine games ago, they had only held five opponents under one hundo. Yeah, and I think you know Mike Brown said before the I guarantee you will not be in the you know bottom whatever he said. I think they were twenty eighth, twenty ninth defensively last year. Oh, uh, after last night, I think adjusted uh, rating now. I think they're fourteenth. Yeah, they're there, and they I think are fourth for the month of March. Yeah. I think. Um, for example, Tyrese Maxey. Going off. 21 in the first. Yep. I believe he had their first 16 he points. Did. Come on. Yeah. Uh, and so, of course, it's like, is is, is, is time actually really going to drop an 80 bomb? Yeah. Like, you know, fine if we win, I guess. Uh, he had 21 in the first, five in the second, big old goose a in the third, and then just three in the fourth quarter. As you said, the Kings are now rated 14th defensively. And, uh, Mike Brown has been all over two things, as you mentioned, defense yep. and free throws. And those have been dramatically better. Now, look, I still think there could be improvements offensively, but, I mean, let's just say, for example, the playoffs started tonight like oh. with this Dallas game. 
I would at least feel good about the way they're playing. That that means not much else than that, but I would feel good about the way they're playing. I I listen. I'm just sharing a stat. Mm-hmm. This is not commentary, but would you like? You probably wouldn't. But would you like me to give you one reason why they're going to lose tonight? Okay. I'm going to go back to Wednesday, March 6th against the Los Angeles Lakers. They were on the road and they won. Mm -hmm. Remember that game? Yep. They followed that up with a win versus San Antonio. That was the one they stole, 131-129. Then they lost to Houston. They turned around and they beat Milwaukee. And then remember, they beat the Lakers right after that. And then they lost to the Knicks. Mm -hmm. Then they beat Memphis, went on the road and beat Toronto. Yeah. Then they played the Wizards. And they lost. Then they went to Orlando and won. They won last night against Philadelphia. Jason Ross, the Kings are now in the middle of a win-win-loss, 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 win-win streak. I'll take that because for a while it was like win-loss, win-loss. It was one and one. So uh, that'd be fine if they went two and one the rest of the way. I'd be fine if they went two and one. Like, I'll take two and one the rest of the way, like, uh, every, every, like, finish the season like that. Yeah. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Because if my numbers are right, uh, that is, that's winning what, oh, that's a 650 clip or something like that. If you're doing that, so, mm-hmm. you know, six and a half out of 10, whatever that may be. Uh, yeah. They got Dallas tonight, Dallas Friday, Utah at home, the Clippers at home. Look, I, I if it wasn't for that dumb, stupid, idiot, lame Wizards loss, I would be really kind of pushing a guys. This might be the turn we're looking at. This might this team is starting to round into form defensively. Free throws. They're starting to round into the form. Mike Brown has worked all year trying to get them to do. They're making their free throws. They're playing solid defense. This is what you need to do to be a dangerous playoff team, and they're coming into form at the right time. The problem with that, the only thing holding me back from just getting a T-shirt that says that is the Wizards on Thursday. Okay. And you had the Bulls a week before that, which is not even close to as bad as the Wizards, but still. There's still that. And and obviously, if they lose to Dallas, Dallas, you know, one, one or God forbid even both. That's not Detroit. That's not the Wizards. I understand that. What I don't want to see, I mean, again, I'll take it, but the thing that's going to drive me nuts is if they beat Dallas twice and then lose to the the, the Jazz, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and then turn around and, and beat the Clippers on Tuesday. I, I On paper, I guess it doesn't matter, but it's just enough to give me a uh, – it's like if you're potty training a dog, yeah. and for the most part it's peeing on the puppy pads, but every <laughs> once in a while you find a turd on the couch. Are you really ever going to be comfortable leaving the dog at home? Yeah um that's it, exactly what it is exactly it's 100 percent what it is i was looking at dallas too in, in in kind of a similar comp so they had lost three in a row some bad losses and i think they had fallen to eight i'm like wow dallas may actually lakers warriors may pass them they they may do what they did a year ago and get completely out of the postseason and after that they've gone eight and one so you can switch your season you could turn your season when uh houston was here even when they beat the kings shangun got hurt i'm like yeah I mean, it's a bad loss for the Kings, but Houston's a lottery team. Now, boom, they win nine in a row, and here they are. So we're waiting for a a streak. The Kings haven't been able to put much more than two together. But even if they could win like four, what a difference that would be. And ideally now four would be beating Dallas twice. That would be absolutely huge. Wasn't it... Wasn't it about three quarters of the season through the season last year? No. No. Wasn't it right after the trade deadline? Dallas and Sacramento were neck and neck, and they played. Yes. And they played Kings here one in the same kind of home and home. And it's the same kind of home and home. And then we're sitting there at the end of the year, and it's like, wow, Dallas is thirty-seven games behind Sacramento. Yes. Remember when they were close? I'm exaggerating, yeah. but kind of weird that we're kind of in the same spot. Yeah, they played. If I remember right, in the two games last year, uh, Kyrie cooked the Kings in the first game. The second game, though, uh, they had Luca and Kyrie. Kings won, and then ultimately Dallas just apart <sighs> i'm nervous it's gonna I'm be great this is gonna be intense this is gonna be another measuring stick for really for both teams but for the kings for sure um and they're gonna be here all week dallas is yeah we talked about that get your buffets ready uh it, it's 
Look, I think if the right Kings team shows up and the right Dallas team shows up, I still think the Kings win. Um, I, I, of course, it's really weird. Like Luka Doncic is the is argu- arguably, there are those that would argue that Luka Doncic is the best player on either team. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think the majority of the NBA would I say think, that he I is. would agree with that. I don't know that. Well, but the other thing, too, is I think the Kings matchup-wise has been really good with Dallas. They've played them well. Traditionally, they've played them well twice this year, won both games in Dallas. I think they have a few more people that can guard their best players. Yes. Which is good in Luka and uh, Kyrie. So that's helpful. I'm going to see how they are a little bit different now, though, with uh, Gafford and P.J. Washington. So we haven't seen them with with that look, but um, they're obviously playing well, too. Is it weird, though, that being said, Jason, that I'm actually, when it comes to fear, I'm far more afraid of Kyrie Irving than Luka Doncic. Like, I know Luka's going to get his. Mm -hmm. I know Luka's going to have 30-something, 10-something, 10-something, or somewhere near that. But Kyrie Irving scares the hell out of me because he's just, look, there have been a lot surrounding Kyrie Irving, and I feel like he's, I don't want to say he's playing in Dallas in anonymity, but he's nowhere near, uh, whether it was Boston or even Cleveland with LeBron. I feel like he just kind of is playing in Dallas. So I think it makes it easy to forget that Kyrie Irving is one of those guys that when he's feeling it, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. He can single-handedly win a game for a team, and he is arguably, arguably, if everybody in the NBA was as hot as they possibly could be, there is a really good argument that Kyrie Irving is literally the toughest guy in the NBA to to stop from scoring. Yeah, he's got – I think he can embarrass you more than Luka. He's got incredible skills. Maybe the comp is is Sabonis and – um, Luca similar in the fact that they get their numbers, um, they do it their way, but Fox can embarrass you with his speed, his uh, quickness. So with Kyrie, his handles, his shooting, his skill, pl- his skillful play is just uh, there. There's gonna be some great matchups to watch over these next two games. Playoff atmosphere for sure. Felt like, like that last night too. It was great energy. I step that up, step that up because the playoff atmosphere is going to be absolutely insane. Tonight, we'll take a break. We got some numbers as well. Let's get to some post game audio too, as well. We've had some really good conversations that have precluded that. We'll hear from Mike Brown, amongst others, next, right here in your home of the King, Sackdown Sports. Subscribe to Sackdown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys, live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus, view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Sackdown Sports. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. They bleed black and purple. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on your local sports leader, Sacktown Sports. Two coaches since 1985. I've experienced winning seasons in Sacramento. Every other coach has never had an above 500 season. I'm old enough to remember. I'm old enough to remember. 
when the Kings were playing against Portland, when Portland basically had a G League team and some guy from the concession stand under Dave Yeager, and our big thing was 40 wins, yeah. and we fell short. And that part still wouldn't have been a winning season. No, still just 40 wins. Yeah. Describing that Portland team, I thought you were talking about this season. Yeah. Well, except they beat us this season just like they beat us then. The team completely quit on the coach. The 40 wins were in the bag, and whatever happened, happened there. Point being is that you look at where we were and where we are, and it's a pretty amazing step taken. Mike Brown, this just in, is not a perfect coach. Uh, there have been some rotations. There have been some things that he has or has not done this year that are certainly um, in question. He got both challenges right yesterday. He's now above 500 at 25 and 24. I, I, I mean, <sighs> Adam is Adam. Yes. He was eight for eight on winning seasons. But Mike Brown's the best we've had since Adelman and has a chance to surpass him. Two for two. Also, just random thought. I mean, out of nowhere, just because we're talking about Mike Brown. I'm just gonna say this because I I, I want to make the point. Okay. And 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 I and, I, and I, I'm saying this out of love, out of love. For all involved, which, of course, means I'm going to say something super crappy right now, but I'm not. I mean this. I love both sides, and I believe both sides are good. If Rick Adelman, God forbid, who is 77 years old, and I hope he lives to be 117, but 77 is not young. If Rick Adelman leaves this earth, and has not been honored. I'm not talking about the end of the year uh, where you honored all the kings of the past when he came. I'm not talking Closing about out that. Yeah. Closing out Arco. I'm talking about what should be a Jeff Petrie, Rick Adelman thing. Yeah. I'd settle for an individual night, but if you want to combine them, hey, great. I think the Petrie thing's a different Donahue right yeah. there. It is not too late. If Again, I'll say it because I want to be really blunt about this. Very superstitious. I hope he lives to be 117, but he's 77. Yes. Okay. If Rick Adelman were to pass and the Kings had not honored him, that is a stain. That is it. It's just a stain. It's an unnecessary stain. Now, please forgive me. If I get a call from somebody with the Kings, they say, we've reached out, we've reached out, we've reached out. He doesn't want to be. Please forgive me and tell yeah. me that, and I will publicly apologize. Right. To my knowledge, that is not the case. If it is, le legit, I'll apologize. Yeah. But if it's just a matter of me. But you can still acknowledge someone even if they don't want to be. I mean, that would be 100%. Choice, something. Something. He's put, the greatest coach they've ever had here. Put, put, put the mock turtleneck in the rafters. Yeah. Do what you do. Do something. And, and trust me, put that out on social media and see what the response rate is. Rick Adelman is a god in this town for, for good reason. And he and Jeff Petrie, and dare I say Gary Gerald, by the way, the, I, I that is just, it's the one thing. It's the, it, it, the, the Sacramento Kings as a fran franchise have done and winning colors everything, but they've done. So many wonderful things. There's so many things for us to be thankful for. They really, really have it. And Vivek has completely rehabilitated his image. Mm -hmm. And and really, the bad part of his image was just being the new owner and making right. mistakes, to be Which fair. Which happens. Uh, follow the line. That happens a lot. It's fantastic. Yeah. He's there with a the commissioner last night. They're yeah. meeting with season ticket holders, doing a celebration of Holy and all that. He's brought culture and, and all kinds of things. Can't say enough. If there's a blind spot here that is so fixable. It's the, and I get that you honored Bibby and Peja and Doug. Bobby and, last night, Bobby, which and, was great. And God bless. But you know yeah. what? Here's the thing. And, 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 and I hope this isn't the case, but here's what really, again, we're just talking here. Those are sexy. Mm -hmm. Players are sexy. Yeah. And I don't mean like that. I mean the other thing. Yeah. They're sexy. That's those, an easy one to do. Those are the ones that are sitting next to you yeah. courtside. You know what right. I'm saying? Rick Adelman, Jeff Petrie, Gary Gerald. I mean, I think they're sexy, but not <laughs> sexy like a player. I know what you mean. You don't have that's not you don't have the swag. Right. You don't have the rev. It, it, it's a different thing. But to Kings fans, if you were to make a Mount Rushmore of 
the true lifeblood core of this fan base and the people that we truly, truly worship, Adam and Petrie, Gary Gerald are in every part of that conversation. They honored Jerry Reynolds. They did the right thing with the media entrance. Yeah. But we're talking about guys that are 77 and older. I hope they live forever, right. but they're not going to. Father Time's undefeated. Give the fans, and more importantly, give these individuals. Yeah, them and their families. G- yes, yeah. give them that moment. Don't make it posthumous. Don't, don't, don't just let it go and let it be. Right. You can fix it right now. All right, that's my that's my rant for the day. Let's talk about Mike Brown, current awesome head coach of the Sacramento Kings. Here's what he said uh, after the game. What a job uh, to break a record, you know, that's been there since the ABA NBA NBA merger. What a phenomenal phenomenal year he's having. Uh, obviously, he should have been an All Star. Um, obviously, he should be talked about for first, second, third All NBA. Um, and he should even be in the MVP discussions with the way that he's playing. Um, this is also his 25th triple-double or something like that, 25th triple-double. Um, he's up there with guys like Oscar Robertson. There's only four other players to do it, Oscar Robertson, uh, Jokic, Bill Russell, and uh, – Oh yeah, Russell. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I don't know uh, if that's a Kings person. It is. I, Shannon, uh, yeah. Shannon, okay. <laughs> it was just a uh, Bill Ross, uh, Russell Westbrook. It's like it's a community yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, we have more from Mike Brown later, but there's he uh, him uh, congratulating Domas on the record. Really, just underlining, uh, and, and and just I was texting with a Kings person last night after the game, and we were just kind of going back and forth as fans. Um. I don't mind, you know, okay, I was, it was Monty, and uh, I don't mind saying, I don't think he'd mind, sh- sh- I don't think he'd mind me sharing, I hope I'm wrong, I'm not wrong here. We'll find out. I, I know, right? Well, it, it started because I, did you see that picture of him and Daryl Morey? I did. Okay, it started because, so the last time I saw Monty, uh, it, we went and talked over, had a conversation over coffee, and he had like a puffy jaw, and he... I, he had just come from the dentist. Okay. Like he'd had a dentist thing, which I actually have later today. And so this picture that Daryl Morey put out, it was the same looking uh, Monty jaw. And so I texted him. I was like, dude, did you, did you go? Okay. And let me just, does that not kind of look like someone that part of their, that, that went to the dentist? Do you, I, I see like a little puffiness going on okay. or, or a jaw thing. So I was concerned. I said, did you go to the dentist? And he said, what do you say? He said, no, it's just my, Jason Statham-esque hard jaw because he they're lookalikes. Yeah. Here's the point. I, I obviously wouldn't share specifics, but it was a mutual admiration society about just how amazing, not just this team is looking, but how ridiculously cool DeMontis Sabonis' streak is. How mm-hmm. kind of like what we were talking about earlier. Just it's not just you and me and fans that are in awe. I I, I think. I think I'm sharing this to underline. It's the coaches. It's yeah. the GM. It's the other players. It's it's the staff that are looking at this, the actual experts that are like, oh, yeah. what? Yeah, what's he doing every single night? And somehow it feels like he's criminally underrated. Still. And DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah. Monty's criminally underrated, I think. We'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, some numbers for you. Uh, and, 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 and some streaks that have been uh, uh, broken. We covered that. When we return, how about off night with a big night? Uh, and we also have some more post game audio for you as well, including De'Aaron Fox with the G Man. We'll be right back after this. The only place you'll find De'Aaron Fox is Sacktown Sports. Pins away from the defender in the paint, soft loader. That's a great play by De'Aaron Fox. Hey, Sacramento, it's De'Aaron Fox, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Arnold Law Firm. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCR Ray 3 Weather Center. It is Tuesday. We're looking at a cool start to the day with mostly sunny skies. Today's going to be a nice day to be outdoors. Under those mostly sunny skies and light west winds, expect daytime highs upper 60s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app conditions for us. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down. Be alert and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Brakes? We can save you 15% on that. 
We have OE quality Duralask brake pads and rotors in stock, ready for pickup or delivery. We also have calipers, brake fluid, tools, and anything else you'll need to do the job right. When you get Duralask pads and rotors together, you'll save 15%. It's just part of what makes us America's number one brakes destination. Progressive presents 10 things on a plumber's to-do list that are harder than getting a small business insurance quote. Waking up for 5 a.m. plumbing disasters, finding out why water is pouring from the ceiling while telling a customer to leave the room, replacing a pipe in a home from the 1800s, then dealing with invoices or your awkward apprentice or that really weird smell, and then there's breathing and eating and, of course, clogs. But the easiest thing on any small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you could save on the business insurance that's right for you. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company. Coverage provided and service by affiliated and third-party insurers. Taste on a whole new level at Sky River Casino in Elk Grove. Enjoy the height of hospitality. Whether you're craving an upscale steakhouse, authentic Chinese hot pot and dim sum, or having a refreshing beverage while watching the game, visit SkyRiver.com today. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Kevin Lewis of National Garage Door. Whether you need to repair a broken spring, install a new opener, or buy a quality Rainer door, National Garage Door is here for you. Call us today to see how we can transform your house with a new garage door. 638-4554, National Garage Door. Right now, Mayda Chevy saves you $8,000 off MSRP on new 2024 Hampton Silverado LT Crew Cab four-wheel drives after rebate. It's a Mayda Chevy exclusive. See dealer for details, ends 331 See all the savings at MaydaChevy.com. Together, let's drive. Elevate your golf game at Timber Creek Golf Course in Roseville. Just named to the prestigious Golfer's Choice 2024 Top 25 Public Golf Courses in all of California by Golf Pass. Timber Creek offers an unparalleled experience. Our revamped practice facility features a grass driving range, expanded putting greens, and a chipping area complete with sand traps. Whether you're a pro or just starting your golf journey, Timber Creek is the place to be. Visit us and discover why we're the talk of Sacramento and beyond. Unwind and tee off at Timber Creek Golf Course. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. National Ping Club Fitter of the Year, Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop, is introducing the straightest, most forgiving Ping driver ever with the new Ping G430 Max 10K driver. A fixed back weight, Ping's largest head profile, and a carbon fly wrap crown help G430 Max 10K launch the ball higher with less spin for consistently longer and straighter results. Schedule your fitting and see for yourself at the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Fulton Avenue to Cap City Freeway or online at HaganOaks.com. Right now, the sewer system is probably the last thing on your mind. And that's okay, because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. If you have a sewer problem like a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline, Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. <laughs> Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sackdown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! San Francisco! It's all on his shoulders. Fox rocks. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sackdown Sports and SackdownSports.com. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. This is the one that Jason and I always think is Fire Falcon, but then it's not. But it just sounds 80s and montage It's the Kings working on defense. Slide drills. Oh, definitely. So let's see, you got uh, just a recap from last week. Trying to keep track. So you got Gladiator 2 coming out in November. You got Billy Jeez. Billy Madison 2 is now happening. What? I didn't know that oh, one. Know, or not, I, I apologize. Happy Gilmore 2. Oh, yeah. Is, uh, sorry. Which I want Billy Madison 2 yeah. as well. Um, R.I.P. Chubbs. Yeah, I don't know what they do with that, right? 
Well, he died. He died in the movie, too. That's true. But you're not going to get like a Chubbs Force Ghost, is my point, like he did in the movie one. I think Happy Gilmore, you could 100% do a sequel because uh, he was supposed to go be a teacher. And Carl. That was Carl, Madison. What'd I say? That Happy Gilmore. God, yeah. Dang it. The other one. Right. With Veronica Vaughn. Yeah. So hot. Want to text the Heine. Hooray for school. <laughs> Let's do rules. Here, the only, I guess maybe the, uh, you know what, the big problem out of Chris Farley was so underrated in that. Like, he just <laughs> stole that movie. It was so good. And those lunches. Uh, and those lunches, yeah. And uh, I don't know if, uh, if, you, if peeing your pants is cool on Miles Davis. I'm not sure if she's still around. My guess is probably not, but maybe. And let's hope. Uh, there was another sequel. There's like a, gr- oh, uh, Beetlejuice. Yep. Which are, I believe they're calling Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, which makes you think if there's a third. You can't even say the name because he'll show up right immediately. Bad Boys 4. Bad Boys 4. I have not seen Bad Boys 2 or 3. Any good? One. Eh. You haven't seen any of them? I think I saw the first one. Um. Yeah, I like I like that a lot of this stuff's coming back. Everybody Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati. The host. Hey, Emron. How are you doing? Emron will be with us tomorrow. Yeah, he'll be with us tomorrow. Oh, and lastly, I read this yesterday. I don't know how I didn't know this. Um. Do you know the original, uh, did you know that the Back to the Future was almost not called Back to the Future? Yeah. the uh, A big studio executive sent a letter to Steven Spielberg, and it was a whole breakdown and said, uh, I think we should change, this is not a joke, look it up. Uh, I think we should change the name, Back to the Future, and I think it should be called Spaceman from Pluto. Yeah. Well, that was the name of the book. And was there a book? Yeah, remember he he's he's like the oh it in was the, the comic in the, book in the movie yeah. I, which was Spielberg's kind of, yeah Spielberg basically was like oh okay sure thing there guy spaceman from Pluto star- starring Eric Stoltz <laughs> Eric Stoltz you ever want to go down a YouTube hole there's actually clips of Eric Eric Stoltz was originally Marty McFly he filmed a lot of it he filmed a bunch of that movie and there's still clips floating around of him as uh as as marty mcfly let's just say the right decision was yeah. made uh that is michael j fox davian mitch was uh arguably many would say not but the right decision when he was drafted now mm-hmm. obviously alfred shangun and a few others were drafted after him davian has been up and down up and down uh but since the all-star break and really since the month of march started uh he he's been about as good as as he's been as a Sacramento King, really good on both sides of the ball. Had a season high in scoring, and, you know, Keon Ellis is a terrific defender. He's shown that. But the one kind of, we talk about superpowers, what Davion can do is he can slide his feet. He can move with people. And Maxi was a problem. Yes. And then they put Davion on him, and Davion did a terrific job. And uh, he got the crown. He did. He got the crown. You see Keegan smirk. The if you if you yes. Her, herder's hiding Keegan's like you just see a little smirk but he, he's loving like barely being in the picture. I actually took a picture because you've got Keon Ellis, Herder. If you don't look closely enough, you can't see Herder, and then Keegan right behind Herder with just a classic. And Alex Lens doing doing a, a finger thing, uh, the the four finger thing they yeah. do, and he's this is an album cover, Jason. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, some. This is an alternative band in the mid '80s coming out with their new album, uh, "Fight the Fire" or yeah. something. You know. Anyways, here's Davion Mitchell on, on to the pending Tyrese Maxi. I mean, I think a lot of it was. Um, I mean, my teammates. I think they they kind of helped me out, um, especially when he's driving downhill. Um, they showed their bodies. Um, we kind of just overloaded him. We kind of blitzed him throughout the games. I mean, so shout out to my teammates. They kind of helped me. Hmm. Uh, also, he talked about the physicality. I think we're just being more physical. I think, um, I mean, especially with the, the the lead not really calling that many fouls, we get to be more physical. Um, even Mike told us that we get we get to be we get to be more physical um, throughout the game. I mean, because they're not really calling the ticky tack fouls no more. So, I think that's what we're doing. Um, we're always got a hand on uh, the teammate. Um, we always got each other back, and I think that's what we're doing. Uh, after Davion's uh, media availability, Jason, you had a chance to catch up with him actually in the, uh, in the in the food room. Quick walk and talk, and uh, you asked him about Demontis Sabonis yeah. setting that record. It's amazing, um, I mean, especially um, for Domas. I mean, how hard he works. But, I mean, he was in the locker room. He's a he's a humble guy. I mean, Domas is like the most humble guy ever. He just said we just got to keep winning games. He didn't really acknowledge that what he did was amazing, amazing deal in this league. But it's amazing to see him do it. I mean, especially to, to be on the same team with him. It's, it's a blessing. So there's that. Uh, and then it was it was a weird moment because I called you right when he – I don't know if you heard the phone ring. 
I called you right when he was answering that question, mm-hmm. and you t- you were like, "I'm talking to Davion right now." I said, "Oh, let me talk to Davion yeah, real quick." So let I me, handed him the phone. Yeah, let me ask him a question because the one thing I wanted to know from Davion specifically was, "Are you guys prepared at this point for the playoffs?" I mean, I mean, even last year uh, when you seen the playoffs, it was a physical game. Uh, I think that's we're thriving in it now. I think last year we kind of got caught up late to it. Um, we did it at the end of the season, and I think that we kind of was tired from missed shots and things like that because we weren't used to being physical. But I think now carrying on to the playoffs, I think we'll be ready for it. Mm-hmm. He's ready for he it. He is ready. I thought that was a good answer. I know you're glad you got a chance to talk to him. I was really glad I got a, a chance to talk to him. Uh, we also – have De'Aaron Fox visiting with Gary Gerald. Love this. You think this is an appropriate time to play this? I think so. I think it is. Here's a couple of legends talking to each other. De'Aaron Fox is about to put on the headset in this one, and we get a chance to talk to Swipe of the Fox. De'Aaron, the first time now this season to go 13 over 500. Vindication after a tough loss in January against this same Philadelphia ball club. What was the key to success in your mind tonight? Uh, I think defensively we were, we were great. I think uh, obviously Tyrese had the big four, the big first quarter, um, and I, I think we did a pretty good job on him outside of that. And uh, obviously that's a, that's a tough guy to slow down. And um, you know you're not you're not you know you're not going to always stop a guy, but you just want to be able to slow him down. And I think uh, once we slowed him down a bit, I think that kind of stopped their offense. And uh, being able to hold a team under 100 points um, on any given night in this league is it's a good defense tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And and the Kings have defensively, we've talked in our broadcast about what we're seeing over the last three or four weeks in terms of more consistency on the defensive end. How notable has it been from your standpoint? And I think in particular, I look at your steel streak. It's now up to 16 games. <laughs> uh, no, I think we've been I think we've been great on that end um, since the all star break. And I think that's why we've won a majority of the games that we've won. Obviously, you know, um, everybody looks at us as, as such an offensive firepower team but we know that if we want to be able to be one of those teams in contention to win a championship we have to be better on the defensive end and i think that's what we've been doing the ovation as the beam is officially lit here by uh davion mitchell yes, sir, babe. Darren, i want to i want to ask you and i know you you've been asked a lot and the relationship you have with demata sabonis and we marvel every night at what he brings to the floor in terms of intensity and effort he doesn't take possessions off he doesn't take nights off what he's doing is so incredible, and the physical punishment that he takes every night, multiple times, he gets hit in the head. Frequently, it draws blood. How do you? What kind of respect do you have for this man? I mean, he's out there playing hard, man. We we came back from the start break, and he had like food poisoning or something, and uh, we were originally gonna like we were preparing to play without him, uh, and then we, he came in on the day of the game. And he's like, I'm playing. He's like, there's no way I'm sitting out. So, I mean, just his toughness and. Uh, he wants to be one of those guys that play all 82 games. He goes out there and he doesn't take a, like you say, he doesn't take a possession off. He plays hard both offensively and he's been great for us defensively this year. Um, I think people haven't taken notice because he's in Sacramento, but I mean, he loves it here, man. He 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 comes out here. He plays for the city. He plays for the name on the front and obviously his name on on the back of his jersey. But um, he comes out there. He does whatever it takes to win. If it's putting the ball in the basket, if it's getting a rebound, if it's getting a stop, if it's uh, being able to get somebody open with not not even pass the ball like it's it's things that don't even go into the stat sheet. If it's you know blitzing, uh, he's setting a screen to get somebody open. Like he he does whatever it takes to win a game. So well said, and thank you so much for your time. National exposure tomorrow night against Dallas. We'll see you in less than twenty four hours. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. All right, that's G Man, Darren Fox, couple legends like you said. Great anecdote about uh. The food poisoning. Yeah. And they still came out and played. Again, leading by that example is leading I mean, for sure. Glad they weren't wearing their white jerseys that night. <laughs> exactly. Uh, also, LeBron James, according to reports, out against the Bucks tonight. What okay. will that do for his legacy? We'll talk about it during the break. Their impact on winning the championship. With uh, what, what, what is that going to do? Will they have more free throws? Yes. Yeah. When we come back, who's hot and who's not? Or uh, what's hot and what's not, depending on which one you say. We got a recap of three of the key from last night. And you know what? <laughs> No rest for us either. That's right. This is our back to back. fifth three in the key in seven nights, Jason. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm a little sore. It's a lot of time in the key. I need, need a massage. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll come back with all that next. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sackdown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! San Francisco! 
Francisco! It's all on his shoulders. Fox rocks. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Hi everyone, it's Emron Pilati, the host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140, Saturdays at 10 a.m. I'm excited about our second location at the Roseville Galleria as True Sports Cards continues our expansion. And to celebrate this day, we're excited to announce that Kevin Herter will be signing autographs on March 30th at 3 p.m. You can get your tickets for this event right now by going to truesportscards.com, searching Kevin Herter in the search bar and buying your ticket. Limited tickets are available, so please go to the website truesportscards.com and get your Kevin Herter her tickets right now. Dirty Heads. Live in concert. Every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7 30 p.m. The venue in Thunder Valley. With a special guest, the elevators. On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Rescue me. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. According to Bogey Jones and the Daily Divot, golf is the best sport ever, and they provide a few reasons why. Some include no two courses are the same, so you'll never get bored. Some are wicked long. Others have super thick rough, and others have fast greens. Enjoy the variety. You can make the game competitive with anyone. With other sports, bigger, stronger, younger opponents may have an edge in golf, Different tees and a formal handicap system makes it competitive, even if you're a 30 handicap. Golf can't be conquered. One day you can't miss a shot, the next day you want to throw all your clubs into the lake. The unpredictability is fascinating, and age is just a number. You can play when you're 70 years old. In fact, some don't take up the game until later in life, but don't wait that long. And you'll meet amazing people, celebrities, athletes, successful CEOs. You never know who you'll meet on a golf course, and oh yeah, it's a game, so have some fun. That's your Guff to Go. I'm Frank LaRosa. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line, is that the Good Feet Art Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air, making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more. What's hot? Yeah, hot. Real hot. And what's not? It's not good. Brought to you by American Energy Heating and Air, Sacramento's complete heating and cooling company and second opinion partner. No, or what? Or who? It's hot, Chris Verlide. 
Demontis Sabonis? Demontis Sabonis. Is that so? Last night, he had 11 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists. That doesn't sound that hot. I mean, that's fine. But if you think about it, that gave him the record with 54 double-doubles in a row. Yeah. It was his 67th double-double this season. Woo. Wow. Also, on top of that, his 25th triple-double of the season. Nice. And when you look beyond the numbers... DeMontis Sabonis and Jason Ross have combined for 67 double-doubles yes. this year. That's amazing. It is. When I like to say I did my part. Uh, last night, Chris Rillard and Tomas uh, combined for 13 rebounds, Uh huh. which uh, is it, fine. Well, you know. I got cheated out of one. Yeah. You did. Uh, you know what's hilarious? But that triple threat was awesome. <laughs> How about getting a triple-double on five shot attempts? I know. <laughs> and, and he was only five of eight from the line. He's not James Hardening it out there. You get a triple double in 33 minutes off of five shot attempts, and the dude probably today looks like I wouldn't be surprised if Domas showing up to shoot around in like those big like boxer glasses they wear at press conferences after a huge fight. He's probably got two black eyes. Yeah, I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> ding ding! Just yeah. a, a giant welt on, on the side of his face. How about 39 years of basketball here in this city? Uh, people not named Demontis Sabonis have combined for 50 triple doubles. 50. He has 25 this season. That's insane. Is he the all, he's the all-time leader, right? Oh, Obviously. the Kings? Oh, yes. Who, who, Sacramento Kings. Sacramento Kings. I think number two is like Weber with like five. He's not even close. 25 this season. Has the triple double been devalued uh, by these big centers? And Russ Westbrook and James Harden. Yeah. No. Who's not? <laughs> the Boston Celtics. Mm, choker, what? Boston. The best record in the league. Choke Glicks. Well, the best record Glicks. in the league. They led one of the worst teams in the league, the Hawks, 68 to 30. Ah, that's teaming. They're not the worst. Yeah. In the middle of the second quarter, but they were then outscored 82 to 50 to lose to the Hawks, 120 to 118. Sign of things to come. Mm. Uh, also, this is a uh, story that is developing here. Uh, the women's tournament's going on right now. Oh. You, you know about this. Mm -hmm. Utah, Utah coach State or Utah? State. Utah coach Lynn Roberts said her team experienced a series of racial hate crimes last week after arriving at its first NCAA tournament hotel. They were forced to change hotels for safety reasons. She didn't go into detail. Uh, but said there were several incidents which happened last Thursday night after the team arrived in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, uh, which is located uh, about 30 miles from Spokane, where the Utes were scheduled to play in the tournament's opening weekends. KSL.com reported early Tuesday that the N-word was yelled at members of the Utah basketball team, along with other members of the traveling party, including cheerleaders and the school band on multiple occasions as they were walking to and from a restaurant near their hotel in Coeur d'Alene. So, yeah, racism in Idaho. Okay, well, that's a crap story, and I hope they... Uh, I hope they uh, I, you know what is, uh, is sunshine is a great disinfectant. I, uh, I hope there's video. Guess what? You're famous. You're famous. Congratulations. Uh, three in the key. John Tash, please. La, 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 la. All right. Last night. Three in the key. I know I got at least one, right? But I'll only take a half point for it. Cause it was kind of a, you know, We'll get to that. In the meantime, Jason Ross, guide us through, please. Okie dokie. Let's do it. As we look at yesterday's results, let's start with our first category, which was after Malik Monk didn't score at all in Orlando. We want to see what he would do. So we asked for Malik's three-pointers, his points, and his assists. Davey said four threes, 21 points, six assists. I said four threes, 27 points, seven assists. Chris said three three-pointers, 21 points, and four assists. The correct answer was no three pointers. Wow. 11 points and four assists. Is Malik Monk officially in a slump after that athletic uh, article? Malik slump? Malik slump. Yeah. What? <laughs> Malik stunk. Malik stunk. <laughs> He'll bounce back. Yes, he will. Tonight. He did just fine yesterday. He was though. fine. Yes. Uh, then we asked for Buddy Heald's threes and points. Boo. Boo. They, they, oh, I didn't. Yeah. How did they that boo? And then did it they? kind of slowed. But they didn't do the whole, like, every time he touched the no, ball. Okay. It, it lost. Kind of over it now. Which I'm yeah, glad. It was did. okay. It was okay. Just leave it alone. Bro. Just, Just leave it alone. Um, Davey said he hit four threes with 17 points. I said he hit five threes with 19 points. Chris said he would hit only two threes 
And nine points, Chris was closer. Zero three, seven points for Buddy. Oh, who would have had Malik Monk and Buddy Hill combining for zero three pointers? Not me. Oh, a six for all Shavano. Then the random stat, Dave, you went with the old Kings. Random. We'll win. It was random. I doubted it. Random to me because they were six and six. Some of their worst losses and really honestly, some, some of their worst wins, if you want to call it that, came on the first night home after a road trip. And you know what? As I said yesterday, I hope you proved me wrong. They proved me wrong, and uh, they get all the credit in the world. I won the 250000 You asked me to bet. Yeah, and by the way, the Kings covered the spread. Yeah. Even, I didn't even need the spread. Yeah, did, although, let me tell you something. Got to pay more. Uh, it was a 12-point win. Oh. Nine. It was 9.5 yesterday uh, when we talked about it. It but dropped to like 7.5. But, seven it, and a half, but huh? it was, uh, at one point, it was 11.5. Yeah. So there was a lot of uh, hand-wringing going yes. on for some people last night. I won 800 games. Um, the random set so you Kings will win. I said Fox would have double digits in the fourth quarter. He had eight. Oh, so close. And Chris said Sasha, or as I wrote, Sahas. Sahas. Sahas Castillo. Would yes. have a three-pointer or more. And he did not play. He might again. have been shoot around. Might have. But it didn't count. Yeah, DMP. Uh, will Sasha Vizankov ever play? He might. I hope. Sahas. Sahas. We Maybe. Sahas. Just on a psych off. Rewrap John Tesh. Let's go right at back at it. You know, no rest for the wicked. Hey, you know what? It's our fifth three in the key in seven nights, as we said. But look, this is our job. We're not complaining much. We're here for you tonight. Tonight. Kings, Mavericks. This time, it's for real. You are looking live. Live. All right. We got some stars, some that have not been all stars, named all stars, but stars to play tonight. Luca and Kyrie, Fox and Simonis. Dave, you go first. We want Luca Kyrie total points and Fox Sabonis total points. All right. I will say 58 total points for Fox and Sabonis. 66 points for Kyrie and Chalupa. Okay. I have 57 for Luca and Kyrie, 49 for Fox and Sabonis. Chris? 54 for Luca and Kyrie. And 66 for Sabonis and Fox. Fox nice. and Sabonis. All right, we are talking about defense. Are the Kings actually good at defense? Well, we're picking out two guys. We're going to go, Dave, Keon Ellis steals and Alex Len blocks tonight. I'm going to say four steals for Keon, two blocks for Len. Okay. Be still my sunshine. <laughs> I've got two and one, two blocks. Excuse me, two steals, one block. I'll say three steals, two blocks. Okay. And lastly, uh-huh. Carmichael Day. Yeah. We were like a random stat. Random. Is there any difference? Anything weird? Something odd? Uh, PJ Washington will have a, at minimum, 20-point double-double because he always slays us every time we play him. 20-point double-double. That's a, a lot to write. Jason's right. It is. I have the Kings will come from behind by 15 points or more to win the game. Oh, he'll trail by more than 15 and win. Well, I like yours. All right, Chris. Luka Doncic will get a technical tonight. Luka will get a technical bag. tonight. Will that technical be for eating a cheeseburger at midcourt? You got sausage arms and cankles. Uh, just asking. Okay. By the way, how long until somebody like writes us a letter is like, you're weight shaming Luka Doncic. I think it already came. It's not came funny. What? My name is Duka Doncic. <laughs> Duke is at lunch. Says you guys are fat shaming Luca. Ah, oh, we kid because we care. It's how we hide the pain. It's how we hide the pain. As a uh, as a a noted journalist texted me uh, a little bit ago. Let me let me read his text here. Uh, oh, it was when we were talking about Kyrie Irving. You know, he's saying you've just been hurt by Lucas so much over all these years that there's no more room in your king's brain for any additional pain, aka fear. I mean, is there a is there a point there? Yes. Am I going to acknowledge it? No. We took badly. Get over it. And because, jury's still out. Jury's. By the way, careers aren't over right. yet. Got to wait till that happens. Dude, it would. Is take, there any I, way? I, I how know, could? I, how on earth could Marvin catch up? Honestly. Like Marvin, something clicks next year. He finds the right thing, and next year he has like a twenty-five and ten year. And then next thing you know, like he's only what, like 25, 26, maybe. Let's say he puts together like seven years of like 
high mid to high twenties double doubles. Um, and somehow got an MVP. Somehow got an MVP or like a championship or two. And like Luca, Luca just shows up next year looking like he's in a, a James Harden preseason suit, just mm-hmm. just just bulgy and girthy and out of shape. And then he just starts to like a couple injuries happen. Yeah, I will tell you this much. I hope I'm wrong. I I don't care how you feel. I always say I don't care how you feel about the player. I want him to be. I want I want Luca Doncic to play 82 games every year forever and never have an injury. That goes for any player, right? right. If I'm a betting man, boy, would I be surprised if Luca doesn't it doesn't have one of those like his last seven years in the league averages like 40 games. Like he's been really durable so far, but yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, and I hope uh, I hope he's healthy tonight. I hope we stuff it, stuff it in his ear. Take that W, Luca. Yeah. Or wait, no, take that L, Luca. What I say? Take our W. There you go. Eat, go eat a W. Yeah, no, no, no. Go to a bu- W buffet. Chalupa. When we come back, let's talk about it. The two game playoff series with Dallas begins tonight. No, it's not a real playoff, but it's kind of a real playoff. We'll talk about it next. The battle for a top six seed in the Western Conference continues tonight as Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks visit Golden One Center to face the Kings. Rebounded by Sacramento. Fox on the move. Three defenders in front of him. Doesn't make a lick of difference. Here and Fox twists his way to the low right side and scores on the reverse. It's a huge clash tonight at 7 on your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports. We actually have a wait list for our Monstera. Shaw's Greenhouse is really bringing in the green. We can't keep snake plants and stuff. She needs a construction manager to build on her roots and grow. We could add a whole section for ferns. Here we'd have dahlias, dahlias, and more dahlias. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Brakes? We can save you 15% on that. We have OE quality Duralast brake pads and rotors in stock, ready for pickup or delivery. We also have calipers, brake fluid, tools, and anything else you'll need to do the job right. When you get Duralast pads and rotors together, you'll save 15%. It's just part of what makes us America's number one breaks destination. For a precision crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at AcuraOfStockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and AcuraOfStockton.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? You were a bit surprised at how much it cost, or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area A plus with the Better Business Bureau. That's why. Why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more. You can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Call 916-520-9990 now. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. K-H-T-K-A-M Sacramento. K-Y-M-X H-T-2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, your flagship station for the Beam Team. Should we light the beam? Light the beam, baby. <laughs> The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. with Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. 
nice compliment from the uh, 916. Dave and Jason, you guys are definitely the A team of sports broadcast. To that, I say, I pity the fool. <laughs> well, that wasn't the reference. Could be. You think so? Yeah. Well, then, would you be, uh, who would you be then? Would you be Hannibal? Would you be Face? Would you be the other one? <laughs> I can't remember who the other one was. Why can I be Mr. T? Oh, or Mr. T. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I know that's who I want to be. I don't know anyone else from that show. Could we both be Mr. T? Okay, I'll be Hannibal. I'll be Hannibal. I'll because he smokes cigars. I don't like cigars, but yeah. Dr. Lecter. Uh, but, but yeah, I'll be. Uh, you know, that's fine. Mr. T still shows up in some random commercials sometimes. He does, and weirdly, like I guess if you look close, you can see it. But also, weirdly, has not aged. Right. Yeah, you can see it if you look. But I mean, that's also that's forty something years ago. Forty years ago, 18. he one hundred percent. I've told you before, that's one of the first commercials I ever remember. Coming up after the Super Bowl, NBC debuts its new show, The A Team. Like that was, that's when it debuted. Yeah. Mr. T is 100% using Old Hair Club. Oh, yeah. There, Mr. T, but Mr. T would look weird if he had like a gray, the gray mohawk. Oh, man. I actually would think that looked pretty cool. I, yeah. I'm not saying it would look cool. I'm saying it would look different. Like, would, would he look different with the gray mohawk or no hair? No mohawk. Uh, I, I, I think I honestly, I think a lot of people would see a bald Mr. T and they wouldn't notice unless you were like a Mr. T expert. I think you'd be like, oh, yeah, he's bald. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I, I think if I played in the movie Rocky and I saw Clubber, I was so afraid of him as a kid. I'm like, Rocky will never beat him. No way. Yeah. So that's one was like four foot three. Right. No way does he beat Mr. T. Yeah. But, you know. Clubber Lang was intense. Movies. Yeah. Uh, but, like, you know, Mr. T, right? He's, he looks great. Looks great. Yeah. One of the best moments on Conan was Conan and Mr. T going to an apple orchard together. <laughs> That's just so random. Hey, Campeo says, I'm Hannibal and you're Murdoch. That's fine. I'll be Murdoch. That's fine. That's fine. I'll be Murdoch. I, I wonder if Mr. T's going to do the thing like Bob Barker did. Guy. Where it was the other guy. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, like Bob Barker, the Price is Right host. He, like, there was an off season and he came back and he was all gray. Really? Oh, Bob Barker was color in his hair and then one break. Just, a, he shows up the net like three months later and he's his hair is white. Yeah. It's like, how did you? Did, but did, you were watching a lot of Price is Right? Was I? Yeah. Yeah. When was the last time you watched that? Oh, uh, God. I can't remember the last time I watched a game show that was in Jeopardy. Honest to God, I, I can't. But you uh, have the sweatpants. Love them. Uh, it was the right sweatpants. no man. There was a there was a there was a time in my life, dude, where it was days of our lives. Uh, Jeopardy or uh, 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 Price is Right, Pressure Luck, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy. Like that was I was last week. I was into it. Yeah, Price of Your Luck was such an underrated. It was show. so great. Peter Tamarkin. The one guy gamed the system. Yeah. Great. great. It's on YouTube. It's a great doc. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right. guys. We got to focus. It's a huge game tonight. Huge game tonight. Kings, Mavericks. And yeah, this is, you know, it's like, well, let's go. This is a playoff. To, this is it like is. legit. Like, it is. this is like the play in, play in. Mm-hmm. Like, it, 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 it's, you, you feel like, it, for, you know, there's what, 11, 12 games left? 12. 11 for the Kings. 11 for the Kings. Yeah. It's not. If one team goes 2-0, and regardless, that doesn't mean the other team won't catch them or pass them. But but if the Kings do? Then they're effectively, because they have the tiebreaker, they're up, what, 2-0 right now? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All they need to do is win one of these two, and they have the tiebreaker. And then, in effect, a one-game lead for the Kings is actually a two-game lead. A tie is a one-game lead. You get the point. Um, this is effectively a battle for the six or better seed. Um, not a guarantee. Uh, but it's a battle. Now the Kings are playing their fifth to seven. Yeah. The Mavericks, as you mentioned earlier, they're on the second night of a back-to-back. I had to, had to take a bus all the way up here from L.A. Maybe a plane. Utah. What did I say, L.A.? Uh-huh. That's what I Same thing. Yeah. Uh, Utah, L.A., same exact thing. And, uh, gentlemen, it's that time. Oh, we were all way off yesterday. Yeah, we which were. Vegas knew what they were doing. Vegas did know exactly what they were doing. So. Kings host the Mavericks tonight. The Kings, as we said, five and seven. The Mavs, second night of a back-to-back. 
42 and 29 are both 20 and 14 on the road for the Mavs, 21 and 13 for the Kings. The Kings have won both this year. Ladies and gentlemen, did you go first yesterday? Okay, Chris Rallad, who's favored and by how much? Oh, let me write down. I saw it, but let me just write down what I would have said. Cause... I'm going to say the Mavericks by half a point. We are going to be very different here. I have the Kings by five and a half. I said Kings by three and a half. The Dallas Mavericks are the underdogs. Okay. The Sacramento Kings are favored by one and a half points. Oh, wow. yeah. I, 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 you know so what? Does that mean technically I was closer? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Circle gets the square. Yeah. Well done. Um, I, I, I get it. I, honestly, nobody here said a line that I would be like, oh, no. That I, I Honestly, if if I looked and saw it was five and a half or the Mavs were, it's that any of those things can so easily happen, especially with this Kings team. They just seem to step up more often than not lately against the Mavs. I don't know what their record is. I guess I could look that up since Luka came into the league, but I want to say it's pretty good Kings against, against the Mavs. Yeah. yeah, I feel like they've played. I mean, we talk about matchups. They have matched up well. With him, they beat them twice this year, like we said. Uh, but Dallas has won eight of nine. They're eight and one in their last nine games, so they're playing well. Yeah, they are, and I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Wow, Luka Doncic has played fifteen games versus the Sacramento Kings. He is five and ten. Not Anthony Davis type ownership, right. but definitely there's at least we have a lease mm-hmm. with an option to buy. <laughs> On Luka Doncic, but none of that matters coming into uh, tonight. Um, and also the other question, Jason, what are the Mavericks and Kings play tonight? Then they don't play till Friday. Yes. What are they doing for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? Yeah, I asked Wednesday and Thursday. one of my uh, Dallas uh, oh. informants. And unfortunately, I asked the wrong per- It's someone on the television side oh. who's actually not going to be here tonight because... It's TNT. He's coming in for the Friday game. Does that rhyme with Lark Mollowell? It might. Okay. Just yeah. care. I just care, honestly. So, and he honestly didn't know what they were doing because oh, he's coming. Yeah, I think he's, he's coming, coming in out. Thursday. But yeah, they literally, I'm sure they got here last night. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they don't fly in day games. So I'm sure they got here last night. Yeah. And so they're going to be at the hotel Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. And a lot of teams that are going back that way stay the Friday night as well. That's the longest I've ever heard anybody in town. And. Look, we live here. We could say of all the charms that we like, most people complain about Sacramento. Yeah, no, league wide, it's 100%. not their favorite stop. It is. It so is. it's interesting. I don't know if Tahoe might be too cold. Some teams have gone to Napa, even if they had one day. They've got a couple days. I don't There's got to be a Napa trip. There has to be a Napa trip. I mean, you play tonight. You could have an off day tomorrow. Still do Napa and come back practice tomorrow night, even or excuse me, Thursday night. Well, here's the other thing too. Head coach of the Dallas Mavericks, Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd, St. Yeah. Joseph Valamita, right. right there. He's from here. Yeah. So he's got to be, hey, guys, Northern California, this is my spot. There's got to be some. And, and by the way, nobody loves the city more than me. I'm a native, blah, blah, credential, credential, credential. When I have people coming into town, I'm not going to lie. Like, I struggle. Mm-hmm. I struggle with them. Well, we could go rafting. Uh, we could play golf. Oh, you don't play golf? Okay. Uh, unless they like, oh, we could go to bars. Mm-hmm. Hey, there we go. I know, right? Like, <laughs> usually it involves like, oh, hey, you want to go up the hill or uh, there's Tahoe. Like I say, Sacramento is the world's best launching pad. Right. But just when it comes to, to Sacramento itself, it's a struggle sometimes. Yeah. Trying to find out what to do. Good answer, Hoffman Park and play Frisbee. That's cool. Yeah. Like, for example, there was a, who was it? Maybe about two, three weeks ago, the Hawks played the Nets, the Knicks, and then the Knicks. That's next, next. And it was over one. They were in New York for one week. Okay. Now there's plenty to get lost and do stuff. Oh, gosh. They loved that. Yeah. So, but for Dallas to be here. And again, the only reason tonight's game is Tuesday is TNT because it would make way more sense for this game to be tomorrow or even Thursday. Yeah. And they could both be on back to backs Thursday, Friday. But anyway, anyway, Tuesday, Friday. Well, well, well. I I wonder if there's going to be any uh, autograph people see uh, hanging out at the Sawyer. Could be. Yeah. yeah. Just what trying to on Luca watch. Yeah. Interesting. 
Chris, you going to be one of those? No. I'm signing a hot dog. Right? I'm, I'm pretty sure I can feel him coming. Wow. I hope he's not listening. I really don't. Because he's going to like, he's going to do one of them like look out the window, a little one tier, come down the face. Let's say I'm going to go for 60 tonight. Yeah. Like, right. Oh my God. What if, okay, we got a break. How crap of a Wednesday morning would it be if the Kings lost tonight by like four and Luca goes for like 60, 20, and 15? They're like, Luca, what got into you? Second night of a back back. He's like, oh, to be honest, uh, I was uh, I was driving around Sacramento and uh, my driver had the radio on. I just want to see what the sports guys, I think it's Chris and, and Dave, Jason, so, whoever, the, in the morning. And uh, they were, they were, they were doing jokes all morning about how I'm fat. And, uh, you know, it just it bothered me. So all night long, I'm I'm thinking, uh, you know what? I've got something fat for you. It's my box score, and uh, I decided, like, how bad would that be? Why is he French? I yeah. don't know. What? I it's I <laughs> I've got sixty for you. Oh, uh-huh. like I, I that would be a terrible Wednesday. Yes, I don't know. I think that'd be kind of funny. No way, dude. The whole city would blame us. For motivating Luka Doncic. Uh, your name's on the show, so I think I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, you're 100%. Dude, I would 100% fire the bus up so hard, though. I would be going through myself and, like, recording on my iPhone clips of Chris making fat jokes about Luka, tweeting him out. Be like, see? And the best part is everybody would be like, so what? We don't care. You're a loser, Dave. <laughs> When we come back, uh, Dallas is remaining games. The Kings remaining games. Let's take a look at all of that. Plus, we have some more postgame audio from last night. We did not get a chance to get to, including DeMontis Sabonis, the record holder. We'll do all that right after this. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackOnSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. The sewer system. It's probably the last thing on your mind, and that's okay. Because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. As the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipe. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda. Malik Monk plays here. Left, goes right, steps back, launches the three. Nothing but net. Oh, that was just filthy. Oh, my, that was sweet. Sackdown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. During the break, much like last night on the phone, Jason and I just came up with a whole SNL skit. I think yesterday's uh, pre-show meeting was a ten out of ten. Yeah, there and none of it terrible. No, but, but de- so good. Definitely some great ideas. We entertained ourselves. Uh, Chris, what do you think? It's uh, it's an SNL skit. Basically, it involves 
we didn't realize this, but Harry Potter actually had siblings. They never said he didn't. And it's just like they have no powers. I know powers. you like Harry Potter. They're squibs. They have no powers. It's Larry. Larry Potter, his brother, Barry Potter. They're Sherry Potter. I think Mary, there was a, Mary, Mary Potter Terry. and Carrie yeah. Potter and Tito. I yeah. just randomly like one that's just and Bob. Yeah. And they just it's a, it's a reunion. And they're just they're, they're just all normal people and hang out. And that's as far as we got. Yeah. We think the funny there is that Harry Potter has all these siblings. We did like the whole time we thought he was just like one kid. Harry. Uh, oh, Harry Potter. Yeah. That sounds like something that I don't know what it is. OK. Harry Potter. And they, uh, you know. They all they all own a sports bar. Yes, Potter's. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Potter's rights. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tonight will be the King's fifth game in seven nights. You can blame that's TNT. unfair. Blame TNT for that. Yeah, uh, blame TNT for that. It's their fault, and I think it's dumb. And now keep in mind, all the games are on Sacktown Sports. But all TNT means. No local TV. Yeah, that means Katie's going to be sitting around eating popcorn yeah. or whatever the hell she does on off nights. No. Oh, what? my gosh. You're just lame. She's going to build a den, add on to the house. She will be at the same time while she's building the den. Making she'll, dog food. Making dog food for her dog. Yeah. Uh, emptying out the buckets in her shower she uses to catch excess water. This is That's a true story. Yeah. Um redoing her backyard right. restoring an antique desk she got at a garage sale and the tax receipts and this is a woman that does her taxes like 340 days what are you doing i'm just doing my taxes <laughs> or that what the other day i'm answering emails or i'm organizing my email really what do you mean organizing oh i had like four thousand missed emails wait what why do you have them i don't ever check it i'll just as she checks her email like once every six months and then it, I, She's a she's a she's a unique uh, person. We love yeah. her, and she will we'll uh, join us tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, she'll be like, "Oh, last night was so crazy. <gasps> oh, parenting and dog food." <clears throat> Anyways, uh, <laughs> Dallas's remaining games. They have two left with the Kings, two with the Rockets, and uh, two with the Warriors. And some others, but yeah, but those are the ones that yeah. matter. Matter. Uh, the Kings have Dallas twice, Utah, and then the uh, Clips at home. Uh, then they've got that four-game road trip, which are also TNT. That's the Knicks, yeah. Celtics, Oof. Nets, Oof. Thunder. Oof. Wait, was there for the Nets? There was. I don't know why. Don't know well, Mikael Bridges. No, just just season-long trend, right? That's a good point. That is a great point. Yes, coming off their big win at the Celtics, they'll get blown out by the Nets probably. Yeah. Uh, and they finish up at home. Pelicans and Suns, which could be – massive games massive games imagine imagine this jason imagine, i'm gonna guess the suns will not be i will well i think it might be in right. that head-to-head -head, like yeah two. it might matter right i'm gonna guess what, I could would, be wrong. what would be crazy is if somehow it looks like it's gonna be the pelicans and the kings oh my gosh what if the pelicans are facing the kings and the Pelicans know that if they beat the Kings, they get Phoenix. Do they sit their players? Mm -hmm. Is there even a thought? Because why wouldn't they want Sacramento? And then the Kings sit their players. And it's who's sitting more players? Oh, my God. The final score is like 18 to 4. Yeah. Or they both play full strength. Here's the better one. They both play full strength. Pelicans and Kings. That second uh, to last game. And the Kings beat them by like 28. And like legit both yeah. teams. There's something there for both teams. You feel better about that potential yeah. matchup. Now you're going into the playoffs. And you're like, we broke the curse. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so that's how the rest of this year yeah. shapes up. But you know what, Jason? I always say you've got to take it one game at a time. Well, for sure. And last year, at the end of the year, they had enough equity. They could kind of cruise in. They they could rest guys. Now, I would think game 80, 81, 82 this year will probably have some significance. And based on streaks and the way they played, I bet Sabonis and Barnes want to play all the way through. Barnes hasn't missed a game in a couple of years. That's right. Sabonis yeah, he's has a, played them all. Is Barnes the current reigning Iron Man? I believe so, yeah. He's got to be. Uh, you may remember last year um, at the Kings were 48 and 31. They lost their last three games. I believe they'd already clinched at that point. Yeah, right? when was the first Portland game? Uh, the first Portland. That's right. You're right. Uh, well, that was the clinching playoffs. Yeah. Uh, 
they were 46 and 30. Uh, they had that back to back Wednesday and Friday in Portland. Yeah. That was after they needed it. They just needed to beat Minnesota at home and couldn't. That right. was a four point loss to clinch at home. So, uh, yeah, 120 to 80 over Portland and then 138, 114 over Portland. Then after that, it was a uh, loss to San Antonio. Hey, hey, went to New Orleans and won. Hey, hey. And then uh, lost at Dallas by four, uh, lost uh, at home to Golden State by 22, oh, and yeah. then uh, lost in Denver to finish out the year by 14. They finished 48 and 34. By the way, fun fact. Uh, in so that's that, four of their last five. Yeah, that's four of their last five. And in that final, uh, that second to last, penultimate game, if you will, uh, against Golden State at home, uh, your leading scorer was Chemezi Metu. <laughs> your leading rebounder was Chemezi Metu. And uh, your leading assister was Davion Mitchell. Jason, in that last game at Denver, and dude, I will mow your lawn if you get this Hello. right in five guesses. Okay. Who led, who led the team? Who led the Kings in assists? The Kings in assists in the last game of the year. Against Denver. Um, Like... If it's anybody else, I'm like, let's just stop this right now. It's impossible. But like, no, I'm, you, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, you're gonna you pull some weird stuff out sometimes. Don't isolate that. Don't isolate that. Okay, no, this probably isn't it because it's not weird enough. But Terrence Davis, not weird enough. Um, Matthew Delavadova. That's a great guess. That's a great guess. Uh, the answer is no. I it's, can't remember. Is it someone like on a ten day or a two way? I think they were on. I think they were on a ten day or a two way. One of the two. Uh, this person's high for assists was in the previous game with three. That was their season high. Uh, in this game, they also had four rebounds. Uh, that was a season high, perhaps a career high, uh, and three steals. Definitely uh, a high and uh, four points, which was not a season high. Four points, six assists. Four rebounds, three steals. All of that came in just 24 minutes. I don't know. PJ Dozier. Remember PJ Dozier? Do. Oh, revenge PJ. game back in Denver. Uh, yes, as yeah. a matter of fact. And what was it? You're, so you're looking at the record last year. What was their record at this game, game 71? Game 71 last year. Uh, so let's see. Uh, that would be 43 and 28. So they're one behind that. They're a worse team than they were last year by one game. And you know what's funny? I don't care if they were four games behind that. I'm I'm saying this year's far more difficult. I th it is far more difficult. And I think this year's team is more built for the playoffs than last year's team. Yeah. That doesn't mean they're not going to get swept in the first round. But like I said earlier in the show, I think if you had last year's team playing full strength and at their best, and this year's team playing full strength and at their best, I think in a seven game series, this team wins in five. I I I, I, I they have shown some defensive they lose one on the road <laughs> no they sweep on the road and then they miss like they lose like the where's they, the road game they blow a third uh the road game uh natomas oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah they they rebuild it yeah maybe uc davis maybe okay. sam state yeah yeah but uc davis we talked about uh uc davis last night in our uh off we did. uh when we <laughs> when we come back uh, what to watch tonight, the top 10 in action, obviously headlined by the Mavericks and Kings. We'll clean up some of this other stuff, all coming up right after this. Malik Monk plays here. Right left, goes right, steps back, launches the three. Nothing but net. Oh, that was just filthy. Oh, my, that was sweet. Shutdown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has a selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. At Ashton and Price, over the last 25 years, we've won just about every injury case you can think of. Slip and fall, falling merchandise, fell through rotted decking, we won those. Dangerous stairs, falls into holes, dog bites, won them. Injured while pedestrian or on a bicycle, auto, motorcycle, big rig, company vehicle, Uber, or Lyft accident, we've won them all. And the best news is there's no fee until you win. So no matter how you got injured, 
Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Dirty Heads. I'm on vacation. Live in concert. Every, every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m. The venue in Thunder Valley. Say I'm crazy, but I have a special guest. The Elevators. To me so far. On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Excuse me, I've been so I've been weak. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Excuse me. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Grove Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and 8-inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, El Grove Kia in the El Grove Auto Mall and online at elgrovekia.com. El Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Place in the morning to get your sports fix. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. You're very close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Well, we're going to talk a lot about the, the NFL. To times are uh, to, to, to change and kick off differences and uh, trade deadline, move back. There's a lot of stuff. We'll get into it tomorrow. It was about Kings today. And to be honest Kings. with you, it might be about Kings tomorrow, too. Did this kickoff rule need to change? Yeah, but boy. It's pretty drastic. It's really drastic. But did it need it is what I'm asking. I mean, basically, there was like, honestly, it got to the point where it's like, just give him the ball on the 25-yard line. Like, who cares? Just this is dumb. Like, there's never going to be. Every, everything's a touchback. I'm sure I haven't read the. I saw where, how it was operated. How do they do onside kicks? It goes back to normal. So then you know there's no surprise on side kicks. Correct. That sucks. Don't like it. Surprise. I'll take it back in my day. Uh, so the NFL on Christmas Day uh, was kind of a thing. Uh, they played 30 games on Christmas Day. Um, over the years? Over the years. And uh, the last couple of years, they played three games on Christmas Day. Normally, I mean, I, me growing up, that was NBA Day. Yeah. You know, and, and between 2011... In 2016, they didn't play a single one. And in 2011, in fact, in 2009, 10, and 11, they played one. They didn't play any for five years. Now, all of a sudden, there's like, <laughs> screw you, NBA. We're, yeah. we're taking it all. But not this year. Yeah, this year. They are? On the a Wednesday? N- the NFL, according to sources, will, in fact, play Agreed. Christmas Day, despite it being on a Wednesday. Two hands. Two hand waves. The question What a dumb, yes. dumb, stupid call. Yeah. I will I will throw out an asterisk. Not that they're gonna do this because they're corrupt and stupid, but here. Oh, it's in Europe. If <laughs> if all sixteen let's say they have three games. Well, eh, you know, cut it to two. Two games, and all four of those teams, they do not play that weekend, that Sunday or Monday. They play basically Wednesday closes the week, and then they have a bye. Then I'd be like, okay, like that would work. You see what I'm saying? So like, let's say it's in week, I don't know what it is, 10. They have to have a buy on both ends, right? No, so like they play Sunday, right? And then they then the NFL week happens and everybody plays on Sunday and Monday. But no, they, they wait two days and they play Wednesday. So they get an extra couple days off oh, right, there. Right. And then after that, their bye week falls on the following Sunday. So they no, get, no, no, wait. I need that explained again. Okay. So I'm looking at the calendar. So you're saying the week before Christmas? The week before? The Sunday, the 22nd they play? No. Uh, 
No. Or Sunday the 15th they Sunday play. Sunday the 15th they play. All right, so Sunday the 22nd, two they, teams will not play. Two teams will not play. The week Oh, continues. you're not counting that as the bye. You're just that saying. would be like their Sunday game. Yeah, got that it. would be their Sunday yes. or Monday game exactly. Yeah, I got it. When I they play there. Wednesday Sorry. and then I they, understood that. the following bye week. I yes. mean that that's the only way I could see them doing it where it would be fair. Which is also a rough guess. Schedule's not out, but that's like week seventeen of a bye, sixteen, eighteen. You know, that's near the end. Yeah. The that's... season usually ends right around the new year. That's a good point. But if you want the greed to have it on Christmas, you got to do it. That what way. about you had to buy the week before? Do you play Wednesday? No, you can't play Sunday. No, you no. I'm saying then the next one's a Monday night game. It's one extra day. That's I guess what, that would Thursday. be Sunday to Thursday, right? Yeah, that's yeah. And maybe maybe that's their you know maybe they only have like one other Thursday night game, so it's like okay, you you have two games that fall with three days rest, and you probably have to put somewhat appealing teams that you think might be good or national draws that might be playoff teams that they could really, yeah, I don't know. Wait, but hold on. But, but do you? Well, I mean, you don't, but so then you. I mean, the has, I feel like the NFL feels like they could put Carolina versus the Rough Riders. Well, if it's Carolina, Jacksonville. Yeah. I mean, people, I'm already beginning to get butterflies over the Hall of Fame game, Jason. Which they announced. Which, did they announce it? Texans. Oh, thank Bears, God. Maybe? Yes. Does that sound right? I've been waiting for the Texans Bears matchup. I think that's what it is. Texas. The history behind that matchup? A lot of it, right? Yeah. Have they ever played? They have to have played, right? I guess every four years, right? Yeah. A lot of history there. Well, the Oilers and Bears played. Yeah. Um, that being said, though, I think we know it will be like the Texans and Bears are going to play on Christmas. They will have played Sunday. No, they'll have them play Monday night, then Wednesday, and then the following Sunday, because who cares? They'll just, they won't care. Yeah. That might be a little exaggeration on my part, but I don't feel like it's a ton of, ex- I could see them doing a, Honestly, I can see one of those teams not having a buy in there. How about just one year you're off? It's a Wednesday. It, it just doesn't work calendar wise. That's it. It'll be back to normal next year. Nope, not the NFL. Any other day is fine. They say pigs get fat and the hogs get slaughtered. The NFL's getting hoggy. Mark Cuban said that I want to say ten years ago, maybe more. Uh, but yeah, you know what? You're probably right. You know what? The NFL is like if they were hoggy ten years ago, they're hippoey now, and no, there's no slaughtering. Yeah, uh, other than brain fluid in that league because of their lack of care for the players but the the big wigs they're doing just fine jason yeah they got big wigs huge wigs where'd that come from a big wig mavs and kings tonight Mm -hmm. massive game can't wait to see mark or kyle and katie on the local tv call it's going to be amazing no what What do you mean no tnt yeah so you you watch the local i can't but you can listen to the local where here like in this room? Yes. Okay. Everybody in. Everybody come down yeah. right off of 160, and let's all gather in yes. here and just bring a pizza. Yeah. That's for Chris. Sacktown Sports, your only source for a local broadcast this evening, so make sure you tune in because TNT is dumb. Um, Warriors and Heat. Hey, dude, let me tell you something. Let's go Heat. I am I am here for the Warriors missing the play-in. I am so here for the war the only thing that stinks is like it would be kind of cool for the kings to send them home mm-hmm. but whatever and just just so i can have an entire off season or playoff season of warrior fan be like yeah well four rings bro four wings four rings bro yeah well get a ring four rings bro okay well you know what so that your so your couch holding up your four fingers yes and not for that reason the right. other one. uh lakers at bucks uh, no LeBron James. What does this mean for his legacy? Oh, man. Critical. Not the GOAT. If you combine, because remember, it used to be the the Milwaukee. Uh, uh, was it the Milwaukee Lakers? No, it was Minneapolis Lakers. Minneapolis. But if you combine the two franchises, you were the owner. Would you rather it be the Lux or the Bakers? <laughs> <laughs> the Bakers. I'd win games by the dozen. <laughs> Can I tell you the reason? It's so not funny. The reason I started laughing is just as I was saying that, that was 100% a Will Ferrell, uh, yes. uh, Harry Carey question. Yes. 
Would you rather than be <laughs> the Lux or the Bakers? Careful, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Thunder and Pelicans. Thunder Pelicans. Let's go th- Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. I think the top three has established themselves. They moved to another tier. Yeah. Nobody's touching those teams. Jason Ross. Yes. If we're in the world of makeup, and I don't mean putting on your face, I mean the fantasy world here, is a Thunder Pelican a- an intimidating species? <laughs> Would that work for you? What are you writing? He was coming in on his Thunder Pelican. Yes. Uh huh. I'm. I. You know why I'm getting ADD right now? Honest to God, is because I. I am legit. Like, um, I'm legit excited for tonight. It really is a playoff atmosphere. The, are you ready? What's your plan? What's uh, what's your plan of action tonight? I'm not gonna lie to you. No dude. family activities. No family activities. No recitals. Uh, no choir. Avery's out of town. They're on spring break. Oh, no soccer, no basketball. Spring break. Right. Yeah, it's one of their 700 holidays. Sloppy Joe's tonight? No, wife's there. But I am on dinner tonight. Eggs but and I, rice? I uh, know that. I'm I'm there. No no sloppy Joe's when she's there. No eggs, cheese, and rice when I'm there. So, and she, she's she been cooking a lot lately. Uh, so, I got it tonight. And uh, I'm getting a, a crown put in today. Oh. Not the not that kind for playing great defense, but a dental crown. So uh-huh. I got a feeling whatever I'm making for dinner tonight is going to be soft pudding. Man, soup. I oh. said stew over the weekend. Okay. Maybe a pudding, a dinner pudding. Yes. We're not. Were we in England? It could be um, extra blood. Ex- I will. I will tell you this much though. It, it's a playoff atmosphere there. It's going to be a playoff atmosphere at home. We're all going to be riled up. We're, we will be in our jerseys. But you're going to be at the game tonight. Mm-hmm. Are you going tonight? No. No. Um, don't know where to go with that one then. Jason, one thing I would love for you to report on tomorrow is just the atmosphere there. I will. I don't know this for sure, but I would just bet the energy there is absolutely off the hook. Epic energy. Epic energy. Yeah. And you know right now is a great time to switch to electric with American energy. American Energy has been around since 1981. American Energy, A plus from the Better Business Bureau. Remember in a Christmas story when Ralphie had the dream about the theme he wrote for English, and in his dream, the teacher wrote an infinite amount of A pluses on the chalkboard. A plus, plus, plus. That's what the Better Business Bureau did for American Energy, but not in Ralphie's dream. For reals. They've been helping folks like you out for a long, long time. They're local. They're owned local. Good people. And they're people I am proud to help bring business because I know they'll take care of you. So make that switch to electric and save big. Stay ahead of those spiking energy bills this summer with up to nine grand in rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. American Energy, they're going to do all the paperwork with these rebates. You know, the, the, the smuds and pg throughout throw out these huge rebates. But it's, it's like doing your taxes times 10. They'll take care of it all, and they've got huge rebates from SMUD as well as spring specials. Just install one of the many incredibly efficient AC options available to you right now. Get rid of those fluctuating gas bills in the winter and switch to year-round all-electric with American Energy. Let them perform a free, free, that's free, in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. Skies are the best. Seriously, learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990. AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy. Making it uncomfortable. Comfortable. We'll take a break when we come back. Cross talks, celebrity birthdays, and moral styles and walk-ins right after this. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back he just knocked down his 12th three-pointer but king's franchise record he's got 45 points never miss a moment of sacramento king's basketball with sacktown sports and the sacktown sports app spring is in the air but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen grass mold and ragweed if spring allergies keep you trapped inside then you need navaj nasal care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. 
Nuvage springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Nuvage is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to GAWon'tWait.com. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at AcuraOfStockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy Buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and AcuraofStockton.com. Birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends, and nothing brings family and friends together better than freshly baked and home-delivered crumble cookies. It's time for the news of the day. The latest headlines, the biggest stories, hard-hitting analysis. Yeah, this is none of those things. And now, here's Carmichael, Dave, and Jason Ross. Good morning. Alan Styles, Chris, Numbers, Watkins. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Appreciate you for that. They're tough. Someone said math is hard. Dude, it's impossible. It is impossible. I told the story earlier, but, like, you know, you don't see everybody's tweets. So I I tweeted out something about the Kings holding opponents to under 100 over the last four. And so far this year, uh, you know, they don't identify. It was something like that. And then about 10, 20 minutes later, I'm scrolling, and I see Chris had the exact same tweet like 20 minutes before me. And obviously, not everybody sees every tweet, but I felt bad. He's also a colleague. So I quote, I, I copy his tweet, and then right under my tweet, I say, hey, go give Chris your likes. By the way, I didn't see his tweet. Oh, by the way, I'm sure, because his he, our numbers were one off. One, for each. Yeah. And I said, oh, by the way, his numbers, I'm sure, are right, because I'm notoriously goofy with that. And then I woke up. I didn't see yeah. it until I woke up really? this morning. Uh, <laughs> Chris is like, yeah, you were right on both. Yeah. That's like the first time yeah. ever. So. It was a good bonding experience. It was I was a great like, wait, bonding experience. I'm an idiot, too. That's great. <laughs> we're both idiots. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Learn something new every day. How you doing? No. Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll try numbers. I long for the days where I could wear. Uh, I long for the days where. Uh, well, I, you know, I'm just going to come out and say it. I hope so. <clears throat> I was going through my closet over the weekend. Sure. It's a true story. Spring Not cleaning. denying it. I have an entire wardrobe. I'm not joking. Probably at least 30 to 40 shirts slash sweaters slash whatever. Most do. That are the size I used to be. And I look at them and I Somebody go. Somebody that you used to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Goat yay or whatever. Yeah. I, I look at them and I. My wife wants me to throw them out because they're taking up a ton of space. But for me, I'm like, no, I will fit into that again someday. And oh, yeah. I might be lying to myself. Can't throw it away. But I, I can't bring myself to give up. I assume up. you mean these clothes are smaller, these, these clothes that you're looking at? Why would you assume that? Because you said you're going to fit into Jesus, them one day. Yeah, because no, they're too big right now. I, I thought I thought too big. Yeah, they're they're yes. I am way too fat for them right now. No, I, I could wear that's them. That's motivation. I, well, that's yes, what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, I but how much motivation do you need? You know, 
<laughs> wow. Well, are you saying how fat do I need? No, to get? no, 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 no. I'm saying it's how, really how many old clothes. Maybe just keep a couple shirts. Right. I have enough old clothes, but I keep telling myself, like, you know what? This is the year. No, because if you throw them out, then you're like you've kicking lost. into gear and you lose that weight. Now you've got a bunch of big shirts and you don't have anything that fits you anymore. Wait, you're saying that's a good thing? Oh, you're saying that's why I don't throw them Yes. Out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can do a before and after picture. And then part of me is like, are you too old? Is it, have you reached that point? Have just, I have it, found out as you get older, yeah, it's not as easy to take off the weight as it used right? to be. So am I just going to do everything for nothing? And then I also don't want you ever see those like old people in the gym and they're like in decent shape, but also their neck is like a chicken. And they're just like they're walking around and like if they if they if they like twist a little bit, like their boobs go slapping left to right and all this loose skin. And then if you, you go get something done, they like pull it all up like a like a ponytail and they have this skin flap in the back. What I don't want to be that guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, you guys good? I was until that. All right. Well, listen, speaking of getting in shape, birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends and nothing brings family and friends. Together better than crumble the cookies. Also, uh, today is National Spinach Day. I'm in. Yeah. Uh, we had this conversation earlier. Anybody else? Well, you're too young. You're okay. probably what, Popeye? Popeye. Yeah. Anyone else like, like me? Like, I believe the Blair Witch thing was real, and I also believe that. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and I also believe that if you ate spinach, like, you would, you know, just Hulk get up. yoked. Yeah. Anyone else? Buy yeah, that we all Popeye? did. We all? Uh, really? Okay, good. No. You were like, F you, Popeye, yeah, you liar. Yeah, like, come on, guy. <laughs> yeah. Straight uh, from the can. Also, doesn't Popeye, in retrospect, now that we're adults, it's like the old drunk guy at the end of the bar. Definitely. Just, yeah, no one would yeah. trust Popeye yeah. around yeah. young people. At the dive. I create social skills. Uh, also, National Nougat Day. Um, Snickers. Anyone ever have just like, why don't they ever just, hey, here's a here's a pint of nougat. You, know, you can't buy it separately. Does it need a casing? Do you? I think so. I can buy cover. peanut butter. Why can't? Why isn't there spreadable nougat? I'm not question. saying I buy it. Yeah. I'm just saying I'm. There's marshmallow yep. cream. Maybe I should start. Maybe that's the next trend. Like sports drinks, spreadable nougat. Mm-hmm. We'll partner with the Kings. Yeah. Purple nougat. Power of the bean. Like the nougat. Like the nougat. Celebrity birthdays. Hello. Hi. Uh, hey. Happy birthday to Marcus Stroman. Thompson. Marcus Aurelius. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> Marcus. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of Simeon. Mar- Marcus Ooh. Allen. Oh, ah, that Marcus. That's right. Raiders, Chiefs. Uh, Marcus, oh, that Mark. Oh, Mark S. Not Mark S. Oh, Mark S. Allen. No, a local. Marcus. He is 94. <laughs> uh, Marcus Allen is, uh, he's 69. Nice. 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 64. 63. 68. We have a correct answer. Alan Styles, right wow. on the button. It's all in the name. Great job. <laughs> Alan and Marcus Allen Styles. Happy birthday, John. Mac- McEnroe. Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Mm. John Harbaugh. John Frusciante, original guitarist for Red Hot Chili Peppers. Gucci Gross. <laughs> John you Candy. You have one John over there, Chris? I'm trying to think of yeah, Mount Johns. Mount Johns. John, John, John oh, Johnson. Uh, Stockton. John, yeah, there wow. we go. Oh, John Stockton. The worst one. <laughs> How old is he today? Uh, John does not believe in birthdays. He, he thinks they're a government scam. This kid is out of college. Sure sure is. Is. Uh, John Stockton is. Yeah, do it. He's 60. Ooh, he definitely um, might be. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Carry the four. 57. 58. 62. We have a correct answer. It is 62. Christopher Laud. Wow. John no Stockton's even Stockton's John fan. Stockton fan. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. Even wore the shorts. Happy birthday to Vaughn. Hey! What? Oh, you got the you got the sounder? Uh oh. Oh my god. Breaking news. We've got breaking news. This oh. is incredibly exciting. When right it now. breaks, we wow. have it first. It's Sackdown Sports Breaking News. 14 ounces of premium nougat spread is available at Amazon from Baker's Choice for ice cream, pie filling, donuts, desserts, cakes, sundaes, and shakes. By the way, you could just eat it yourself. I don't see why you need any other crap. And it's kosher. Available right now. 33 reviews. Three out of five stars. I'll have to buy some and bring it in. 
I'm sure you will. Did somebody send you that? Yes, I did. <laughs> he did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just, wait, just I, like, I didn't like, see hey, you look anything ah, up. Somebody <laughs> sent it to me. Alan, your thoughts? Is this going to be a part of the show? <laughs> I'm going to leave. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we're abusing the breaking news. Uh, some people would agree. I don't remember who I said. Did I say anybody? <laughs> uh, well, just we just had John Stockton. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday, uh, Diana Ross. Yeah. Ross. Yeah. Nice job. What? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, right. She has three yeah. all the time. D Ross. D Ross, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like she's like 80. Mm. I mean, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think that hot. 70. 74. 77. 79. We have a correct answer again. We're three for three today. It goes to Carmichael Dave. 80. Yeah, Happy yeah. Love Di Ross. <laughs> Happy birthday Whoa. to Vaughn Miller. Yes. Oh, by the way, there was an announcer on one. Anybody else knows this? There was an announcer on one of the college games over the weekend, and I think her name was like TJ Ross. Yes. Did you remember? Yeah. And every time they said it, I perked up like because they were saying J Ross. Like a dog. Do you and know then, there's a uh, Lions broadcaster that's name is Jason Ross? I do not. Is there yeah. really? Yeah. Are you guys you know each other? Rare. Yes. Yeah. Who'd you uh, say, by the way? Vaughn Miller. Vaughn Miller. Miller. Oh, Vaughn Miller. He yeah. said, uh, Vaughn Miller's 38. Mm. 36. Yeah, I was too old. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. 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 39. 37. Wow. We don't have a correct answer, but Alan is close as 35. Yeah, what are you wow. guys doing? 35. Happy birthday, Lost. Steven. Uh, Strasburg. Vote. Steven. Spielberg. Steven. Musician. Oh, uh, Steven oh, Baldwin. Steven, Stevie Van Zandt. Uh, uh, the Steven one, Aoki. Uh, Stevie Wonder. Steven. The one with Bruce Springsteen. Uh, Steven. Nope. No. Uh, Lead singer. Steven uh, Perry. Tyler. Yes. Oh, Steven Tyler. Just, really good. Just I massive. Today. I struggle with Aerosmith so much. Me too. I really love them. But also, he's such a garbage can. Steven oh, Tyler is such... It looks like he's been thrown in a couple Dude, times. Dude, what a lead singer. What a voice. Yeah. Also, too live much nougat? Huh? Too much nougat? Way too much nougat, dog. Yeah. I found the place your life is going in the garbage. Uh, Steven Tyler's 71 today, and he does not want to miss a thing. Oh. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Remember? Like his... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right. 72. Uh, 95. Oh, he he looks nasty. 73. I don't know. He's uh, scary. Christopher Lott is the closest. 76. Uh, 70. I was close. Wow. I was not Steven far. Tyler, 76? Yeah. 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 Can you believe it? Oh, my God. Seriously. Uh, yeah. What if he's had any work done? I'm getting so old, man. Uh, guys, what's coming up on the show today uh, other than Kings? Just the nougat stuff, really. Other than Kings, <laughs> someone tore their Achilles on the sideline of the Super Bowl for the Niners. They we'll, did. We'll tell you who. Okay. It's Dallas <laughs> Watkins coming up next. And right? Nugent on Sacktown Sports. The battle for a top six seed in the Western Conference continues tonight as Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks visit Golden One Center to face the Kings. Rebounded by Sacramento. Fox on the move. Three defenders in front of him. Doesn't make a lick of difference. Deere and Fox twists his way to the low right side and scores on the reverse. It's a huge clash tonight at 7 on your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports. eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it 